some bad no drinks at the bar. We pop champagne because we got that dough. Happy belated birthday to me. It's Glenda the Good Witch. Sitting in for Cheryl my girl Underwood. Cheryl is out, so I'm about to fuck up her show. <laughs> I think you just did. <laughs> Hello, everyone out there in Sirius XM Foxhole Land. I'm a little sleepy, so I'm going to be talking a little loopy. Oh, I just got back from Chicago uh, on Sunday night. I was oh, home. That's right. You have a yeah, good time. Yeah, I had a good time. I went home for uh, my birthday and see friends and family. Had a wonderful time. How are you guys? My people are here. Wait, did you go to Cotton Club? Is the Cotton Club still open? What damn year I are you in, girl, Stacey? I have not been to Chicago in forever. <laughs> that's the that's the one club that I remember I had a good time at. I used to see, um, well, I'll show you how long it's been. Bernie Mac performed there. It's uh -huh. been a while. And what about the 50-yard line? Does the that still exist? The 50-yard line is still there, but I did not go. Is that like to a the sports bar? Yard. Yeah, it's a sports bar. Did they, you go to um, any taverns? I did. I went to the Pine on the west side. It was a, like a steppers club there. So I went there. It was a lot of fun. And got my step on, baby. I should have uh, chosen Steppers music today, too. But um, I went to the Pine. I went to the old school uh, house music picnic uh, by the Chosen Few DJs. Is that the name of it? It's called the Chosen Few Old School Reunion. And they play all house music. And can I just say, a friend of mine lost his son over the weekend. Um, hmm. Prayers go up to my dear friend, Tony McCoy, who lost his son. Uh, to oh, senseless gun violence. I think Tony Jr. was about 19 or 20. You know, that's an epidemic in Chicago. It's terrible, and I, I couldn't believe it happened while I was there. I, I, I was just, I was floored. Uh, but I was there. If they play house music when these kids are shooting, I think they'll solve a lot of problems because how can you be mad and have hatred in your heart when you doom da da doom do do doom da da doom do doom da da doom do do doom da can you that's all they have, they need to start so they go after that music they drop the, the gun and just start dancing yes they would Stacey you know they would you know how it gets when they start playing house music that's the remedy that's the remedy so as soon as the drive by uh, brother comes along and say doom da da doom do do they start over Stacey wait Kyle you got it okay Kyle you about to shoot somebody. Um, hey, hey, nigga, hey, homeboy, what the hell, nigga? I'm about to Oh, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I feel good. But it's the Hold truth. my gun. I ain't gonna Hold my gun. I ain't gonna Hold shoot my you, homie. I ain't gonna shoot you, homie. <laughs> Everybody's Come on, dance guns with me. Party over start here. Start dancing in the street. <laughs> I mean, for real, but oh, my people's in the house. Okay, so you all heard uh, Stacy is in the house. Hey, Kyle Arby. What's up? I'm not gonna cut you off today, uh, Glenda. Kyle always cut my me off. My bad, Stacy, for cutting you <laughs> off last week. Or whatever. Ain't what? no cut off today. Just no like the off. lady that cut her dude. Ooh, I mean, we're gonna get to that. Off. We're Ooh. gonna get to that. Why, Jim Kelly? What up, yo? Oh, I missed you guys. Yeah, You're I missed so, you too, yeah. sort of in a way. I know. Yeah. So yeah, my birthday was last Thursday, and Kyle's is coming up. Kyle and I are seven uh, days apart. We are seven uh, days apart. He's yep. older than me, though. Yeah, seven. Day, I'm seven <laughs> years and seven days after. And so I'll everybody, Kyle's me. birthday is coming up this week. Yeah, this going down July 21st. What you doing? You going to Chicago? Uh, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll be in Richmond, Virginia, y'all. Da, 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 hey, da. hey, at the <laughs> Richmond <laughs> Funny Bone with Cheryl Underwood. Oh, on your birthday? Oh, cool. Uh huh. Oh, it's nice to be working on your birthday. I'm traveling on Thursday. And working on Friday and Saturday with sure. I'll have to I'll shout out my boy uh, Belton's in Richmond. I, he has a salon there in Richmond, Virginia. In Richmond, VA? Yep. What up, Richmond? Yep, Belton's. Uh, Fall Wyatt in, Belton. VA. So tonight's topic is crazy news stories, hilarious headlines, wacky you didn't say world. Hi to Jim Kelly. Yeah, I just said, hey, watch him. Oh. Kelly. Oh, okay. You just said, I'm she sorry. I missed that. Cool. I'm sleepy too. I've been up since 2 30. I'm so tired. I just got back from yeah, Germany. Hey, who, who can stop Glenda from doing that annoying <laughs> shit? Since she you can jump in. I'm sleepy too. Shit, I, I was woke up in. early this yeah, morning. I didn't get back to sleep at all. I know. I'm on Germany time. I went to Germany last week. Did you really? You did? You met a guy in Germany? World no, Cup? I went That's there. They got match.com in Germany? To visit my cousin. No, but they do have match.com, I'm sure, in Germany. I couldn't find a website, but I was looking for it. Don't be confused. What is it? Match Vats, it's, it's Volkswagen, Vats, Volkswagen dot com? Vats, Vats dot com. Vats <laughs> dot com. Gesundheit and uh, Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> Wiener, Wiener Schnitzel dot com. The yeah. Gates. That's German. <laughs> I had a ball. Um, so, like you I, were saying so yeah, crazy uh, stories, crazy yeah, news stories, wacky headlines. <laughs> 
So I can't wait to get to the, to the first one. But I, are, are we going to take a quick break? So we're going to take a quick break. It's Glenda the Goodwitch sitting in for Cheryl my girl Underwood, Foxhole Radio, 855-369-9898. Start the lines. Uh, start calling in so you can shout out your crazy story or if you know about these crazy stories and you want to chime in. Oh, this is this is my Chicago uh uh what do you call it theme song. This is that's how that shout out made me. That's how my mama raised me. That glitter and may not be gold. Don't let nobody play me. We'll be back. You're gonna wish you never had met me. Tears are gonna fall rolling in the deep. You be listening to the lyrics. I be listening to the lyrics. I study those lyrics. I see that. Glenda the Good Witch sitting in for Cheryl, my girl, Underwood, Foxhole Radio Series, XM98. Cheryl is out, and we miss her so much I haven't seen Cheryl in a while because she was out, and I was out, and she's out again, so I haven't seen her in like maybe three weeks almost. And um, I miss her. I miss you so much, Cheryl. I miss all of you guys, too. Stacey, that's a cute top. I like that. Stacey on this really pretty pink, lacy, sexy little She represented her set today. Both of you I know, guys have the girls. some nice tops on <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Glenda's, Glenda's got, um, yeah. I just have on a t shirt. I just have on a pink t shirt. It's just, she yeah. got on an extra medium t shirt. <laughs> it's summer. I like to pull yeah, out my hot. summer clothes. Oh my God. And it was so hot in Chicago. It was blazing. And Glenda has her summer lack of clothes. Yeah. Crazy stories. Crazy stories. One of the top stories tonight California woman charged with torture in severed penis case. Ouch. Yeah. A California woman was charged with torture on Wednesday after authorities said she cut off her husband's penis with a kitchen knife and ground it up in a garbage disposal. Yeah. I wonder what if it was a steak knife. Like with or like really smooth or That's edge. Strong. Oh, the edgy one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know, I think she yeah, um she gave him some kind of drug or she something. She gave right and he was asleep and she he tied she tied yeah, him up with tied him the up. nylons and so forth and yeah. but so it, okay, he's asleep but drug too. Is he drugged also? Yeah, like does he does, he doesn't feel the pain. They, they did do her. Or he, oh, I'm sure he felt pain no matter what. But to tie him up, that's why she drugged. Well, maybe him. they were into the tie up part, and he was no willing. way. No, uh, <laughs> they said that she was a, that he was no. a uh, he was asleep. Uh, hold up, and he, no. so with that, that that's smarts, huh? That's what? smarts. Hold up, that's smarts. We need Sheesh. we need to talk about this. <laughs> Uh, wrong. This <laughs> lady needs to be beaten to a pulp. Forget the death penalty. Just beat her until she can't breathe no more. That's an yeah. example. Well, you know what killed me? Like it was over some crazy stuff. Well, they because they had extra guests in the house, and she was. Yeah, that she was sounds mad. crazy to cut off some dudes. You know what? Catherine K mm-hmm. I E U. What is that? Q is it? She. Yeah, she I think I saw a picture. She, she, she was Asian. Asian. She Forty-eight like years nut. old. Yeah. Over over people staying at the house. Or pe- he may have no. allowed other uh, foreigners to come stay with them, and she didn't like it. No way. She was <laughs> a bit I upset about care, it. I don't care no. what he did. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> and maybe you what he happened. was flirting with some of the, yeah. uh, you know, the, the younger Asian girls. Maybe you know, those, he cheated. You know those younger Asian girls are sexy. And they're badass. Don't you get know? twisted. <laughs> yeah. And just like this one. She's an old badass Asian girl. Uh, she's just wrong. And so he was rushed to the hospital where he underwent surgery, and he's in—I um, believe—he's still in intensive care. So, if she grounded up, what ha- do do you do you get a cow? What do you do after that? Well, they did emergency surgery, but I'm guessing to, like, that they stop probably the bleeding just yeah how? stop the bleeding. Well, of course, to stop the bleeding. <laughs> and so I hope and sew up the bleed wound. I'm sure they have to sew up the sew wound. up the wound. The so dirtiness. maybe uh, it depends on like maybe. Let's say he was Kyle James. What 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 happens? What happens? Let's say he was six inches and she cut it down I, to less. You'd say, be like, was it do Chaz they, Bono or no? What's her name? Oh I, oh yeah, the uh, Sonny Bono's different. daughter, yeah, Cher's that's, daughter. That's, that's a different that's surgery. Oh yeah, so okay, that's so she was given one, right? Oh so yeah, so he can get another. Have to go find a dong. So he has yeah. to get a he has to get another. <laughs> yeah, he can go down to the. Is that how that works? Up another penis. I have no idea. Oh, do they <laughs> donate? Do guys? Do you guys sign on the back of your driver's license that you'll donate your penis? You're like, is that part is of that your body part organ of your that you? Organ? I'm telling that, you, if he gets mine, he's a lucky motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> You lucky motherfucker. He gets all the mileage and everything. He's Call lucky. us, 855. Hey, it's black. Yeah. 369 9898. 855-Fox 9898. Call us and let us know what you think about this story. Um and and how should she be punished? Is so is this like an attempted murder or like what happens? I think like they would charge him with that. Right? I think it's attempted murder. I because it she says she was being charged with torture. So yeah, whatever that, it is, that it, is it's torture. a lifetime. What kind of time? Sentence, there is a lifetime a lifetime, a lifetime sentence. sentence. Yeah. 
So, gentlemen, I want you to uh, chime in more on this, Kyle and James. Well, you don't seem to have much to say about nah, this subject. No, I just don't want to. I don't want I'm trying not to cut off. So, every time <laughs> yeah. I, that I get cut, I'm just shutting the fuck up. <laughs> uh, but here's the thing, man. This dude was, this, this poor man, this poor, <laughs> poor man. In my opinion, I bet he probably put his penis where she thought it shouldn't be i agree probably and so she probably felt like she had the right she said i run this to <laughs> cut it off and not only or cut I it off this. to put it in the garbage disposal to shred it so that it'll never be <laughs> that's horrible again and <laughs> my... okay i'll kill your mic <laughs> yeah for real. thank you jim, thank you, jim. <laughs> Because even that was, like, scary. How do you think the penis felt? If the penis could talk as she was cutting it off, what would the penis say? <laughs> well, why don't you l- let our listeners call in? And <laughs> <laughs> what would the penis say, Stacey? Don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I just want to be in somewhere warm. But then she <laughs> grinds it up. What if the penis had a Gary calls Coleman voice? 911. What you doing, Willis? Yeah, because she didn't think. He, <laughs> I don't think she you're, thought. You're, you're, the penis sounds like Arnold. Like yes. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> My penis is the what size you talking of about? Arnold. What you talking about, Catherine? Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that Yogi Bear or is that Arnold from Different Strokes? No, I no. think Arnold. Yeah. Okay. I think that was her Yogi Bear Arnold. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Yogi it's Arnold. Yogi <laughs> imitating Arnold is what I just heard. But so no, the, the, the wrong thing about it, Glenda, yes, is okay. she 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 definitely it's the possessiveness that I have. Yeah, that with. yes, it's the possessiveness. What that you trying to say? She said, "I own this dick, so I'm taking it." That's what she thought. That's exactly what she. I don't give a damn if y'all well, married. I don't think that's it, Kyle. But I they really, only I, got married like you be no, you be horny no more. I'm sure it went down. Like you be that. horny no more, me cut off. Because she said, and he deserved it. I <laughs> yeah, am she did say that. Willing to bet that this no woman couldn't take another whatever he was doing, whether it was, and I'm not, I'm not saying that he did. Uh, it, speak on his behalf. Wh- you whether, got to. whether it was rape, whether it was adultery, rape. whether it, you don't know what. No, that's the only. I hope he raped somebody because that's yeah. the only thing that deserves. Well, that's what I'm saying. You don't, yeah. We don't really know Doesn't the story. Doesn't even deserve it. That's the only thing I, I can say. I'm saying is that rape. women have limits, and this woman's limit was obviously tested. So yeah, if he has an urge, a so <laughs> if, <laughs> no, I wish I, we need a doctor. A whack job. <laughs> we need a doctor. So will he still have the urge to get down, but just can't, and it's like all pent up? I don't. I think that comes from your nuts. Yeah, I would think. And oh, the nuts but like, gone, but, you, but where's the release? Damn, Gina. Well, I, you know, <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I, you know what? The so. reason why this lady needs to be brutally beat down. <laughs> Is because <laughs> she don't need, down. you know, you got to understand, there's a lot of players out here in Radio Land that are listening right now. You got to understand, players, a player like me, when I hear a story like this, I get nervous. <laughs> you know, yeah, because I be thinking. It does now, make now, you question. Yeah, because now I'm thinking every time my woman gets up in the middle of the night, I got to follow this bitch you know, to the bathroom. I, I never heard of sisters. <laughs> Stacey, have you heard of sisters doing that? I never heard of sisters doing it. Who else I, did that? I, I Lorena did. Bobbitt did that, I right? this yeah. one sister in Chicago did it. Oh, she did? Mm, it, was, uh, it was on the news just before I left. Like She was mixed. She might have been. She but had to be. But Lorena Bobbitt like left the dong in a field or something, right? Yeah, she or threw the dong out the window. Out the window. Okay. It was yeah. in the field. Yeah. And they tried to sew it back on. There yeah. was dong in the field. Yeah. Field of dongs. Yeah, it's better than a garbage disposal. I'm wondering if they <laughs> will try to get like an extra limb from a like a uh, not a corpse, but yeah, a corpse to, uh, to, to to so this guy yeah. can function. I don't so, want a dead penis. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, well, you, well, you, you would do. rather not have a penis than to have someone else's That's penis. That's a good question. Do they Call grow in. penises nowadays? The so much, you know, so much, so many advancements in science now. Do they grow penises? We need somebody who's Zoe Williams would know. <laughs> he know every damn thing. Somebody on the line? Yeah, Prince in Memphis. Prince in Memphis. I thought Prince was in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Prince. Hey, Prince. Hey, Prince. I'm- Hi, I'm not going to cut you ladies off. I'm just going to hold myself and say hi, Glenda. No pun intended. Hi. Uh, <laughs> any other women that are in the room? Um, TT. <laughs> it's, it's been a tough week. I feel sorry for my man. He might yeah, as well turn this car, Cal. He yeah, it's is no not longer good for him, Prince. It's not I, good I for him, even, Prince. It's, it's not good at all, man. I, I can't even go to McDonald's and get a strawberry banana smoothie shake no more, man. It's just... <laughs> Why? Oh, you, you, I'm glad that I'm glad that you guys feel that way. I think that if this wait, happened did more, something go over my head? What does the banana smoothie have to do with the man's penis being cut off? Did, did I look? No, I, just, am I lost? No, 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 no. They, they crush up the ice. They crush up. The oh, ice. <laughs> well, like a blizzard. Oh, not a in a garbage blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> I think if more women did this, we would have a lot less cheating. No, but <laughs> no, I, I just can't. That's the thought. That's the mindset. That's ridiculous. 
<laughs> What'd you say, <laughs> Prince? Like nipple, she should have cut like a nipple off or something. You know, give him a warning. Right. Do him a nice, um, See. what was that movie uh, where she, uh, Misery, where she knocked his ankles. Oh, man. Uh, uh, yeah, do that. Too. How about this, fellas? Why don't we just start telling these women from day one, <laughs> look, man, you're going to have to share. All right? I ain't you with know, just you, period. You either with me or not. That's if we all ex band ex together, fellas, ex ex and ex tell them all, oh, listen, I ain't no one woman man. That don't mean nothing, all right? Kyle. If you want to be with me, you're going you gonna to understand that your name is Sharon now. That means Sharon nothing. me. You understand <laughs> that? Me. That means you nothing, You are sharing Kyle. me. Because what she's going to do is she's going to say, okay, but she's going to think that she can change but you. But the beauty and is. And when she realizes that she can and she realizes you put that tip in another uh, bowl but of ice see, cream. see, most cats ain't saying it. And that's the beauty of it. When you go out front, man, if I ever ain't get with another woman. beautiful about I'm telling you that right now. I'm I'm day one hey how you doing before i introduce myself i need to let you understand how this relationship is gonna work straight up mm -hmm. that way we ain't gonna have to know we let's let's and all band together fellas <laughs> let them know they have no options <laughs> with you let them have they have no <laughs> options you didn't we do crazy. have <laughs> options <Nah. laughs> no because once you tell us then we have the option of saying we accept it or not but the problem is you probably gonna go to another brother that's lying if we all band together and say look this is how we work it now you know what i mean you 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 ain't getting no exclusive contract <laughs> that's, that's what you. I'm no saying. i have to be number one you could be number one but there yeah, will be a number mind. two yeah <laughs> I agree. If we, okay, but if if women do this this whole cutting up the penis thing off uh -huh. more often, I think that men will stop the they cheating, would, the their cheating. lying You're ways. Out of your damn mind. No, I, no, I'm not. I'm just no. saying yeah. if it doesn't have to happen like every. See how they think, Jim Kelly. Yeah. Every they think that they can stop think, us. No, 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 no. once every three months or so. No way. What's, what's once every so three then, months? But you got to understand, if you guys are getting off. physical against us. Woo, uh, that's a lot of penises. Y'all don't want us to get physical okay, against so y'all. We can pull out the super glue and glue your coochie. <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> okay, our research team has pulled up some information about how the uh, penis the heals. The crack research team? Oh, to get the new penis. Okay, once the area heals, uh, he's going to need a complex surgery using <laughs> microsurgery to bring some skin and muscle to that area of the body. Lots of muscle. Oh, Lots oh of so they, they take it from other places. <laughs> yeah. Then a penile prosthetic can be incorporated so he can regain some. Oh. Women who I go from being sausage. women to men. Hold on. Go I, I, I left my glasses surgery. at home. He can regain some usage. Of that area, I thought he said he could regain some sausage. I think you was thinking area. about me again, Glenn. No, I was yeah. never thinking about you, Kyle yeah, Irving. Lie to yourself. Ignorant ass. Lie to yourself. <laughs> lie Ignorant. to yourself. Okay, so I, I I don't think James and Kyle want to linger on this story. I would have loved well, to stay I mean, on this story no, for a little while. No, this is an important story. It is. Yeah. An important I don't mind. Story. We can stay on this for two hours. This what's what's the calling number? Oh, the calling number is eight five five Fox. Yeah. 9898 eight, 855 nine, eight, nine, eight. Holla at your girl. We actually got Oh, we got another call line. Ross. Ross from Maryland. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, Ross. How are you? I'm glad you girls are getting some um, enjoyment out of this because um, <laughs> it doesn't sound very freaking funny to me. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, Ross. Oh, guys, Rossi. And, oh, and, Ross. And, and I know the gentleman will agree with me. And um, you asked the question, what what do I think the penis was saying when it was being yes. cut off? Don't, yes. Don't what cut the me. fuck is the only thing the penis could have said? That was exactly what it said, Ross. Don't be so stiff, Ross. You know? Somebody well, killed this you know, bitch from me. Also, oh, oh, oh. also, you said something about whether it could grow back or not. Right. It can, it can grow a little bit of tissue, but that's it. Yeah, we were just uh, uh, reading that they would have to take uh, parts of take skin from other from parts of the body and yeah and then try to yeah. build it from a prosthetic in that way but that's messed like up oh man <laughs> i used to cringe when i would see a guy get hit in the balls i can't even imagine oh i cringe when yeah <laughs> thank you so much ross that's ew. so y'all quiet on that one y'all ain't saying that's a horrible shit. story it's ridiculous man it's <laughs> absolutely mad. ridiculous they i mean we mad. all make bad decisions at bars and we take Home, some girls that we're not very proud of. So she just <laughs> made. And we a wake up and we realize they're not all there together. Well, he's the, how long but were they We always have our dong when we wake up. <laughs> That's what scares the shit out of you. I wonder how long they were married. Did it say how long they were together? He, it two years, matter. like two thousand nine. They he, was there for two. Oh uh, yeah, that's possessiveness, yeah. man. Y'all ladies. She need probably to uh, paid him to uh, be here in the states, and she fell in love. And he just getting his money. He probably had a few more, but he moved in from I, other countries. I, I love the stories about do. the girls, like coworkers. 
mm-hmm. and you could read between the lines like yeah she's a nutty bitch and they kind of knew it she's yeah. like <laughs> kept to herself and yeah we knew she had problems I'm like yeah, yeah this oh, is he was do. 60 years old she uh, was 48 and he anyway. was 60 at least he's 60 yeah yeah. But here's ah. this is what they should do. They should have all the women have a, have a party uh-huh. for the for this woman who cut this man's penis off. Everybody have a big party and and, and have it in this they big ass have room. Them big old and then cakes. burn that damn room down with all the bitches <laughs> in this. All the women party. like Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they should do. Sure, I mean Stacy said have a penis cake. Yeah, you seen the penis cake? Uh, yeah, yeah, those my, are uh, my ex girl had one. <laughs> those are, they're really good. I miss you. Those are usually the best cakes too. <laughs> the most tastiest ones. Yeah. Okay, I like we're going to move along. We're going to move along. As you all know, Kyle, you want to talk about this story? Because I yeah, saw you uh, you bullshit. and your, I wanted to cuss you out when I saw the baby doing this. But oh, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, 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 go yeah. ahead. Oh, planking? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Nah, this shit. Nah, when I first saw the planking, I thought this shit was so stupid until <laughs> I tried it and this shit was addicked. <laughs> Hell yeah. This shit it's is addicting? funny. It's addicting? Where's Hell your plank? Yeah. Where's you your plank? You know why? Because I, I, my boy, I, we was watching, I was watching with my boys. And my youngest son wanted to do it, so he, this nigga jumps up on a damn a bleacher to try to plank. He damn near killed himself. I'm like, dog, you can't do it. So Your son? Yeah, then he planked on a bench. I took that picture. I saw that one. It, the, the bench looked like it was hard and it hurt. And, yep. he, was, and he, he was, But he was loving it. And so uh, we were laughing so hard because he kept trying to find different places. For those who don't oh know, planking gosh. is when you find a place, a random place, and you lay on it with your hands onto your side, feet pointed straight, and like you get a table picture. Right here? Belly yeah. down, right? Belly down. Belly down. Face, face down. down. Ass up. Still. Ass away. <laughs> right, so, uh, face down. Belly down. Hands to the side. You lay still. Somebody takes a picture of you and you put it on Facebook. Now, it looks stupid until you take until you do it. Like if, if Glenda Plank right now oh. on that there. No. Uh, try it right on here. On this table. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Glenda Plank on my <laughs> dick. Anyway. <laughs> But Glenda planked on this stupid. table. We would laugh so damn hard. Somebody get the camera. Glenda is not bullshitting today. Yeah, take she, the picture. That's where's so you the, put where's it on the, Where is the um? She Glenda is planking the table. You're throwing this up all the This is just like I thought it would look too, y'all fellas in Radio Land. Let me tell you what's happening. She's you got. I got a better taking shot. A picture. You just a little yeah. Cam Newton. Move that. Uh, there we go. Glenda up. is planking the table. Move Stacey's that Stacey's taking up. a picture. Move that computer. Hold on, up. y'all. Radio Land. Let me give you a play by play. Glenda's. Face down. Her head is towards me and Jim Kelly. Her face I, is down. I can down. see down her shirt. Now, I'm remembering the good old days because. Yeah, yeah no. hold on. Stacy's getting Stand the picture there. right now. We're going to post this on Twitter and yeah. Facebook and let everybody see it. You need to take your shirt off. <laughs> you got it. All right, you can get up. Okay, you're good. All right. So when you so when you see one, and then then they start, you watch it. It's funny. Then you then you look at it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, everybody's getting into it. Yeah, so then you want to do a more challenging one. Like, okay, you just did a table plank. Right. right. And then so you say, ooh, I want to do a plank the on counter. that counter plank. Right. And then you start – you were just laughing doing taking that picture because it yeah, just felt silly. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, that so was fun. So when you start doing it, it looks stupid, but until you do it, then you're laughing. Well, somebody took it too damn far. Uh-oh. Planking kills its first victim. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Well, well, it is funny because this fool thought he wanted to plank from a, a balcony and – Nigga lost his balance and died. That's what happens when you plank from a balcony. And you lose your balance. Oh my gosh! You could possibly well, who, die. I want, so who took who took the picture? All right. Uh, <laughs> basically, his I think his buddy did, but I'm gonna read the story. Latest f- Facebook trend oh, is turned funny. deadly. Australian investigators say 20 year old. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name. I ain't gonna do something like that. But this man what? died. Is, ain't it in there? All right. Acton Bill. Acton Bill died. Uh, after falling from a high rise balcony, police say he was trying to plank on the balcony railing and lost his balance. Idiot. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> planking involves having a picture taken. We already talked about that. Facebook planking group has 127,000 fans. It started in Australia. If you don't know what it is, oh, go it started to in Australia. Yeah, put in planking, and you're going to laugh because it's hilarious. It's a, the, the plank's on there. So he must have been on the side of a balcony. on and a just very thin wow. rail and uh, fell. He made a mistake. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I got a um, <clears throat> plank. I'm planking the improv stage on one of my Facebook pages. I saw that one. <laughs> I just, it's funny. And I was like, these people, I mean, they, they're just all into this. I just don't. I, now, is it true that it originated from slaves being brought over on the slave ship? I ain't heard nothing about and that. And how they were all lined up and down. How, that's how no they were stacked. Way. Hell no. Nigga. Hell that's how they no. were stacked, Kuta Kente. They, it ain't got nothing to do with stacking people. You all are out here Kuta kente all over the damn no, place. No, You got your kids Kuta kente <laughs> Acting no. beating Kuta kente his ass right off the ledge. In, in, Glenda, in Australia. I, heard I just Kuta kente across the studio table. <laughs> But everybody's planking. Everybody's Kuta Kinte. Nah, man, go on with that. That's crazy. Who said that? I, it was like I, some, some rapper, some person. I know, somebody said Who that. Who was it? Facebook it's has exhibit, a... Um, exhibit, Exhibit. It was Exhibit? Exhibit? Yeah, Exhibit yeah. said that. 
Facebook. You can almost every time I think of Exhibit, I think about when when I he was supposedly escorted into a, a gay club with P Diddy. I think about that every time That's I hear his name. Up. I don't know People why I think about that every time. Like that. I just see. dicks were on Exhibit. You can almost relate yeah. everything yeah. to were slavery on if you tried. But um, bum. like the the first story, <laughs> you know they used to cut off dicks for the slaves. Used to cut off the slaves' dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You can relate everything to slavery. Oh, you know, yeah. so exhibit is cutting off Kunto Kente's dick and putting it down the uh garbage disposal. Oh my. Okay. I'm 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 sleepy. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. Fox Hole Radio, the Cheryl Underwood show sitting in for Cheryl Glenn the Good Witch. 855-369-9898. Call us. Yeah, I'm about to post uh, Glenda's planking picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you angle. know where. <laughs> Yeah, I love that song. This shit gets repeated all damn day in my iPod. Shout out to the Steppers in Bang Chicago. Up. They stepping off of that song in the shy real tough. I love that song. Boom. This song reminds me of All Star Weekend here in Los Angeles. They was uh, playing it a lot, so it brings back really nice memories from that weekend. You know we got to send a shout out to Nakia. It's her birthday today. Nakia in New York. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Nakia. What does what Nakia do? What do you call that in New board York? Op. The board op. She's yep. our board op. Sirius XM, New York, Foxhole Radio. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, Nakia. Happy birthday. birthday. Cancers are the best. I agree. They are the best. Oh. Why Jim Kelly just no. missed us. Jim he just I. missed. Split oh, yeah, I know. My ex is a cancer. Really? Now, I don't get along with Which cancer one? men. Tell us. Uh, the one in Phoenix. <laughs> okay. You get along with me. Oh, the, the one in Phoenix? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. My ex in Phoenix. Um, <laughs> My did you meet ex. him on Facebook? Or? Uh, Cancer men are arrogant to me. Okay. You met him on AOL? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got different AOL areas. has a dating um, thing? No, we just happened to be in a chat room. That oh, was I like That was like hey. 10, 15 years ago. <laughs> that was pre-husband oh, okay. when I met him. Um, so it wasn't really officially like that. Cancer men are arrogant to me. I, I don't get along with cancer men. He is arrogant, but he's, yeah. he's so sexy. Uh, enough of that. Let's talk about me now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's talk about you. Crazy <laughs> stories. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> topics is the subject tonight. 855 uh, Fox 9898. 855 369 9898. And you can Twitter us, tweet us Sweet. at Fox or you can just Twitter me at Kyle Irby, K Y L E E R B Y. And that's American. two X's in Foxhole. Right, two X's. F O double X. H O L E. Foxhole. Um, crazy stories. We were just finishing up about the planking. I planked across the table here in the studio. I Kuta Hey, and you had fun table. doing it. Don't even front. Uh, did I have a, what did I, was my thong showing? I think I had the white thong on today. I don't know. I didn't even see the picture. Let me see it, uh, Stacey. Uh, TT got a good one too. Are you, did you, t- They're going to put it up. It? You going to put it on Twitter? I, I, I can't find my uh, oh, cord, hell. so I can't. Can't you just email but it to somebody or text it to somebody? Oh, you know, um, that's a good idea. You're right. Oh, I can't. Damn it. <laughs> Technology. Some of our, kind of, kind of backtrack back to, um, uh, the the penis story. Some of our uh, followers on Twitter. <laughs> Black Eye said, "Where's the blanket prick, bro? <laughs> <laughs> they, well, they ready for that <laughs> thing? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get her to send it it's to coming, me. It's coming. It's coming. Oh hell yeah! I'm gonna get her to that. <laughs> hell yeah! I'm gonna get her to send. Who's is this? That's TT. The TT. You gonna send it? You gonna send it to me? I'll post it. Oh, you can post it. TT's is actually better. Mine's got all the laptop and colors. TT had a good. TT's good. Text it to me. I'm gonna put. Okay, put it. We're gonna post it. Okay, so at the sweetest on on. Twitter, she tweeted, I think that the woman should lose a tit. There that's it is. hilarious. Uh-huh. Close. Close. A, a penis for close. terrible. No? You don't think so? No. James doesn't think that's fair. Because <laughs> why? Because she got another tit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she got a spare titty. Don't even try. Big Ren, yeah. is that Big Renzom? I know Big Renzom. Am I saying this right? Big Renzom says, this is why I sleep on my stomach. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's right, dog. Sleep on your stomach with the strap underneath. This and, bitch uh, gives you a shaky <laughs> shake. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be playing in the bed. And uh, Fire Fire 100 tweeted that he should lobby for a stem cell research and pray they can grow him another Frank for his beans. <laughs> he got about 20 more years of life, dog. You need another penis, bro. Oh, like it's, who is that? Twisted from Illinois? Twisted from Shy. I hope, I hope you're calling from the Shy. Has a no, point I'm, I'm, Where you at? I'm rolling down the road on 70. Where you at? Oh, okay. Oh, you way deep in Illinois. So I don't even know where the 70 is. <laughs> What's going on, Twisted? Uh, nothing much, nothing much. How's the chilling with show doing tonight? It's doing good. It's we doing good. Broke. We hanging, uh, holding down What would down you do Cheryl? if somebody cut your thing off? Stacy just cut me the fuck off. What the hell? Did Stacy do the cut off? <laughs> We've been cutting each other off all night. It ain't just me. <laughs> what were you calling about, Twisted? Uh, I was going to, I had two comments. Uh, the planking, it is a, from slave. It is from slavery. Mm. 
How is that? When I was doing when I was doing family research, I I found that out. And then on the the woman cutting off the penis. Mm-hmm. Uh, How did you find it out? Uh, remember, uh, remember the movie uh, Sleepaway Camp. The Sleeping with what? Ex- remember the movie called Sleepaway Camp, where the the uh, guy stuck a, a high colored iron up inside of her. Damn. <gasps> Yikes! Ew. I ain't see that, bro. I, I got that I part. Gotta, it's like uh, a porn. I got okay. What's enough of this. Called? Enough of that topic. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to hear the porn. No, keep it going. No. Keep That's it going. Good. Did he open it, bro? Did he open the the clip? A <laughs> hot curling iron. Ew. Where you at? Curling iron. Did he open what it? What happened? Because that couldn't have been the comedy. Or did he just? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, was, it was supposed to have been a horror movie. Back a horror day. film. Yeah. Did he uh, curl up her pubic hairs for her? Do her a favor. I I it never showed the whole thing. All you heard was the sizzling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's what they should do to this broad, man. Oh, she was juicy. That's TT said that do. was a hot pap smear. <laughs> that's uh, what she deserves. Yeah. TT's got jokes, and that's nasty. That that's a nasty. that's another way of sterilizing the instruments, huh? Ew. That Ew. was a bit too hot. Mm. Oh my! Even Jim Kelly said it. Hell no! <laughs> she deserves that and more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what a pick at uh, TT. Where's the, the pick? TT, what, what you doing with pick? the pick now? <laughs> Everybody want to see this pick. What you doing with the pick now? No, no. <laughs> okay. So there's a, a crazy story in Washington. Yes. Not really crazy okay. compared to cutting somebody's, you know, what off. <laughs> okay. So uh, a couple broke up, and I think a, the guy went over to her house uh-huh. and tied her down or held her down uh-huh. and shaved her head. Damn. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. He yes. was a, je- a jealous boyfriend. Jealous boyfriend. And that way, nobody else would ask her out because that is <laughs> true. Oh, well, hell. Like that don't Jane. mean nothing. Well, well, you, you know, lo- y'all ladies love your hair so much that y'all pay thousands for Wait, it. She could have wore and, a wig. Uh, and being bald don't mean shit. Nowadays, you can get eight out on stage if you're bald head. TT just hey. asked me for my phone number. I've been waiting for this, actually. I knew this was coming. <laughs> did you know what I was talking about, TT? Because Kyle just talked all over my shit. You did. You're right. Where was that from? Wiz Khalifa was eating up, Amber uh, out on stage. Uh, uh, oh, Stacey. really? Yeah. He did? So being, being bald head, it gets you good things. Yeah. But see, Amber Rose does that in a second. Get you a licking. I'm doubting this girl looked like Amber Rose. (laughs) Yeah, Amber Rose can get away with it. So he held. He 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 uh, broke into her place, jumped on her, smashed her head against the uh, the mirror in the bathroom, held her down, and pulled out some clippers. This fool came over there. He basically ready. pulled a, a Brutus the Barber beefcake for my <laughs> wrestling fans back in the day. He used to put them in a sleeper hold and then give them a shave. Shave their head back. Oh right well, see, that's like p- prank stuff, guys. I mean, you guys don't care no, about that. No, that was wrestling. That was back in wrestling. Oh, he and shave, shave their, their head. head? In, yeah, after he beat him in a, a match, he would shave their head. They say wrestling's fake, but that haircut was real. I would have, I would have had to, uh, I would have had to kill him. He shaved my damn head off. But see, that's it that's what I'm talking about. See how the sure fellas hair can grow back. You exactly. can't grow a penis you back. You can't grow yeah. back the penis, man. Mm. <laughs> but you still, can't. I bet you, I tell you this, Jim Kelly. If you could grow back a penis longer, I bet you cats would be shaving their shit. I would have cut mine off while. Let me grab this. There we are. Let me grab this call. I always gonna need to talk to this brother right here. Who that is? Lewis Dix. Oh, speaking Lewis of Dix. Dix. Is calling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lewis Dix. Sorry, My know. dude. I know what's up, brother? Hey, hey Lewis. Hey, Lewis. What's going on? Not much. How you guys doing? We're good. And you? I'm well. I, I was listening to you guys, and then uh, I have a show to, tomorrow, so I was like, they're nice enough to let me um, plug it because Speedy won't do that. Him and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's on your no. show, uh, Lewis Dix? Um, well, hopefully you'll be on it soon because I'm doing Wednesdays at Maverick's Flat Comedy. Are oh, you really? Yeah, That's yeah. That's and nice. I know you've been opening up for Cheryl, so I don't know if I can get you though. But you know, I am booking the Michael Williams rate. You know. Oh, that's uh-uh. hilarious! So, Lewis, you that's called hilarious. you called to plug in. Um, you called to plug your your shit. Well, I so, definitely didn't call in to talk about uh, my penis being in a, uh, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a garbage disposal. And I want to say hi to Jim. Um, I miss him. Hello, Jim. How you hey, doing? Lewis. How you doing, man? Uh, good. I mean, hi. no homo, but I guess if you're over forty, you shouldn't have to say that anymore. <laughs> you know, I mean, Lewis, I know your misogynistic behind is gonna sit up here and speak to Stacy and I. And I'm hosting the no, damn I'm show. I'm gonna speak to Stacy. I'm gonna speak. Can I get it out? I saw Stacy on the other day. Ladies first. <laughs> uh, you know, that was a new uh, boyfriend. Hey. He was a cute little chocolate drop, but no, we were just, it was just a date. Just you say? Oh, yeah, he, was, he was holding on tight. He was trying to get that residual money. I could tell. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying to get that girlfriend's He's check. He's actually an old friend. Yeah. I so, <laughs> Lewis, <laughs> if Cheryl yeah, was here, I would was, you call in and took over the damn show if Cheryl was here? Is that? 
Is that no. so? You just gonna take no. over? You just gonna call and take over because I'm hosting? Is that some? No, that, I, did, that I, didn't even, I did not know who was hosting. I just called. Oh, it. okay. So Don't I'm be sorry, scared, of Cheryl. Yeah. Don't so be what scared, time, Cheryl? What, what time does the show start tomorrow? What time? The thought thought. What would you say, I'm Lewis? Gonna, at least they don't call Hill Hopper anymore. So what do you want? Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. So okay. Lewis, you're, so Lewis, you'll be at Mavericks Flat here in Los Angeles tomorrow. Yes, Mavericks Flat tomorrow, every Wednesday, eight o'clock. Um, oh wow! So please come on down. It's only ten dollars to get in, and um, it's it's a great, it's gonna be a great time. A lot of uh, they, they'll be kind. They won't be raw, but they'll be funny. They'll be kind okay. of. Okay, I'm, I'm and, gonna uh, try to come down. Me I think too. I, have, I like Mavericks Flat. I think I have five minutes. I want to try out. Well, yeah, and you know anybody that that knows she that she's been to Mavericks Flat can go on anytime they want, Stacy. So you know that. Yes. So, so Stacey yeah, is going to show get on your shit. Hey, no, she's gonna sh- Stacey's been funny since the, they tried to rob her. You know, my man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they tried to rob me? That. Damn. Break <laughs> yeah, that down. What happened, Rob by a comic. What rob. happened, Lewis? Well, what <laughs> happened was um, Stacey was so nice, she would leave her purse with the other comics. <laughs> I oh, like literally, literally tried to rob you? I thought you mean rob no. it, rob your jokes. No. Yeah, they were no, trying to no, rob no, your no, damn no. purse? Yeah, they yeah. took a the credit card. Vincent Cook yeah. and um, <laughs> oh! the other guy. Uh, Vincent Cook and it was somebody you else. You know, the other guy didn't get caught, so I never say his name. That's what's still called cool. being on blast. Okay, all right. But it was definitely Vincent Cook. And then <laughs> that's when you knew. That's when I knew I was cool with Stacey because I was like, I never robbed her. That's every comic <laughs> <story>. <laughs> Stacy, these fools was robbing you. Yeah, and you got funny. more male friends and then female friends, and these Negroes oh, were trying to rob you. He wasn't. My yeah, friend, well, no, obviously. it was. It wasn't. It was just. He was that person was shady from day one. The rest he, of us had honor, you know, and we we could ask each other for ten dollars if we needed. We wouldn't steal it. <laughs> Because I showed him had that much in my uh, purse. So he had to take my credit. He took my checkbook, actually. And the, the store manager called and said, are you Stacy McLean? I said, yes. He goes, well, how could you be there in, in Torrance at the same time? I'm like, well, obviously I ain't there. Well, it seems, seems that someone's trying to use a, uh, your, your one of your credit cards. cards. I'm like, well, it ain't me. You need to stop them motherfuckers. These damn. <laughs> damn. She was straight Struggling, super profanity. Struggling and desperate the- comics coming up. On the hustle, that was quite. A Lewis, while thank ago. you so much for that crazy story. Hey, Lewis well, Jigs, always I, good to I, hear I, you, brother. I thank you all for taking my call. Um, uh, really, uh, it's always good seeing you guys, and thank you so much for allowing me to plug it. Uh, every Wednesday, Mavericks flat eight o'clock, yes. and come on down and see the Foxhole family. Because guys, make sure any drink tickets? City of Los Angeles, you got some drink way. tickets, Lewis? Oh, yes. Yeah, America. comics get drink tickets. Yes, they do. The comics get the damn drink tickets? Well, that's, and, that's, and you, you're yes. one, too, if you find so family, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. I got to get my drink and drink. Bye, Lois. Bye, Lois. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. I'm going to try to make that. Yeah, that's cool. It's, and it's right near me on um on Crenshaw and, um what is that, Stalker, I believe. So big ups to Lewis doing his thing. Speaking of stalker, Glenda's going to have some stalkers showing up <laughs> <laughs> looking for, <laughs> hey, where that girl from the plank pick? She over here, where that girl from the plank pick? Okay, but really quick. Oh, we got Big K on the phone. We're going to talk to Big K. Big K. What's up? What's up, people? How y'all feel? What's, what's up? up what's up? We're good. How are you? All right, I'm good. I just want to tell you, I'm gonna put this in real quick yes. about the uh, about the you know penis being cut off. I yes. say like Maria Antoinette, a head for a head. Okay. Oh, so the head okay. For a head. So she okay, her, what would what, what would you take from the from me? Her clit. Her head. The clit. The head goes off. Her the, head her above head, her shoulders. Head. No, no. Yes, her, her dome. For her head. There it is. Oh, oh my goodness. That sounds fair. That, that sounds is fair not to me. fair. So she should be decapitated. So she should be killed. Yep. Yeah, she should be. She should. Yeah. Oh, big because head. what is a man without his penis? Nothing. Exactly. Oops. Well, he and you it. heard but that from minute. Kyle okay. Irby. You heard what that is from a Kyle man Irby. I'm with what is a man penis? without his penis? Nothing. nothing. You know Damn right. Be no nothing. Purpose. If we don't have a penis. It's nothing. He ain't nothing. He don't I'm have bored. nothing. I'm That's true. Kill yourself if you don't have a penis. <laughs> Why are you here, man? Women who want to be men get penises sold on yeah. all Right, so can but he just get that? But, she, but the woman, when you cut her head off, she is like she's officially dead. dead. Yeah, so I don't think that's fair. For cutting your penis off. I don't think that's fair Well, she fair shouldn't have cut his penis yeah. off. She didn't I mean, have to cut it off. Well, she was pissed. Like I said, unless they and can prove I really rape. don't agree with that. I, I think nah. I think she went overboard. If they can prove rape, mm. you then think, he you, you the think penis she went overboard, do you? <laughs> Other than that, I'm glad you do. But you think it's okay. She did. If, she went overboard. If she was raped, it was it's okay for her to cut it off. Well, if she was Kyle. raped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she yeah, got raped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cut it off. That's cut it off. Happened. Yeah. She yeah, that's the only reason why you can cut it off. If I'm not giving you permission to choke me and hold me down. 
and you take my then yeah you you gotta you gotta go john boy gotta go i like that guy. um john okay boy gotta go so okay do you guys think that the, the the guy okay the guy who shaved his girlfriend's hair off i think i think he was on methamphetamine and uh, uh billify and some other shit that's funny so he was a bit out of had a broken heart it's yeah okay. but he that. he assumed that by shaving her head off she would be unattractive to other men that don't mean nothing that's actually mm, true it's kind of true no yeah. no it's actually true. i just said amber rose got eight out on stage yeah but she wish. did she's that on exception. purpose she's the exception she's not the why, why you think why you think listen i'm sorry not to say listen like you ain't listening but you're not but listen <laughs> why why do they think my, my cousin sells hair right now he calls it the black woman's crack that's he used hilarious. to sell real crack and he gave up selling crack. <laughs> well, I don't think these to were sell black. Hair. I don't think this was a black couple. But that's the point, though. Hair is that serious that it's like crack. Well, they say Women LA is it. land of ass and crack. I love and, and I love <laughs> hair. Hair is LA one of the first is the land noticed. of ass and crack. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't get it. The, ass. That ass. Okay. Big yes. asses. Crack. Big asses. Ass. And crack, crack cocaine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, of crack here. cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> This woman <clears throat> shot and killed her husband supposedly by accident because she claims she was shooting at the neighborhood pit bull that was attacking the children. What's I gonna do with crack cocaine? The yeah. the the the, <laughs> the eight the eight month old pit bull name was cocaine. Oh, oh snap! Hey, that was nice. <laughs> the eight month that old was a so, roundabout way. Doing yeah. That. Woman fatally shoots husband and injures dog. A Jackson man is dead. Jackson, Mississippi, and a neighborhood pet is injured after a sh after a shooting by the victim's wife. She said she was aiming at a pit bull attacking children, but the neighborhood kids said they were not uh, they were not being attacked. And uh, the Jackson police are now trying to sort it all out. Supposedly, sh the husband was shot in the chest and killed, and this uh, attack dog. Cocaine, the pit cocaine bull, is the name. Is the name eight of months old, a puppy, mm -hmm. and she did. She shot the. She just shot the poor puppy in the uh, in the leg. Yeah, she must not have been watching cocaine CSI. You know, found. cops could tell when you shoot the guy first and then you shoot the dog. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I, I call bullshit on this one. Oh, wow! I do. Eight month old puppy, a pit. Yeah. You know, eight months. The cops aren't buying her story. I don't think either. Well, they say they're out, they're trying to sort it out. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty effed up. Oh, we gotta go take a break. I'm having so hey, much fun. Um, tell everybody the. I want to say before we take yes. a break, not to cut you off. Yes. The picture of Glenda planking is, it up? is going to be on Facebook.com. Look for KYLERBY. I'm going to tweet it yeah. as well. Okay. And Producer sent it, it to him. You can see her little bubble booty. Go to my Facebook page too. right now. To be my little bubble booty. Bubble booty. Booty. Shout out to Howard Stern. Bubble booty. Coming back with more. This is what I said to Glenda after the first time I hit it. The Play Cheryl that Underwood jam. Show. Hey, what song is this? It's Beyonce. Off the new uh, album. What's the name of it? What is it? Party. You can talk up, TT. You are not gonna explode for talking up. The song is called Party. Party. Uh, how yeah. original. <laughs> Shut up, Jay. That's cute. I like that. It's Glenda the Good Witch sitting in for Cheryl, my girl Underwood on the Cheryl Underwood Show, Foxhole Radio, 855-369-9898. And tweet us at Foxhole, F-O-X-X, as an X-ray, H-O-L-E. Crazy, crazy stories, crazy news topics, hilarious headlines. I planked here in the studio across the table. Kyle Irby has it on Facebook. And uh, I think they're going to put it up on Twitter in a minute. I may also put it up on on, on my Twitter page as well. Um, again, 855-369-9898. We have entertainment. The entertainment segment is here with Succulent Stacy and moi, Glenda the Good Witch. What's going on, Stacy? Succulent? You know, you know, before you guys start, yes. sorry. Last week, Kyle and I did sports and nobody interrupted us, but go ahead. <laughs> it was heavenly. <laughs> Okay, so what is that I just mean, wanted uh, to say that. Go okay. Ahead. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> You're so stupid. What's going on in the entertainment uh, you world? You know, space? I was, uh, I don't know if I was shocked by this, but J-Lo and Mark Anthony are splinting up. I, I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked I was. either. Oh, yeah. She's so hot. Uh, they announced they're splitting up, and they've described it as ver a very difficult decision. It was hard. It was hard for us to decide to not stay together, but it's... You know, I really kind of feel they have three-year-old twins, yeah. Max and uh, Emmy. 
Um, yeah. They married in 2004. I just feel, you know, they, I don't know, they should have been married a little longer. I knew it wouldn't last. I knew it wouldn't last. Wasn't he, he was with uh, the other girl. I can't think seven of her name. Seven years. They were together seven years. Well, they were together. You mean Mark Anthony yes. and J-Lo? They yes. were together seven years. And prior to them um, getting, getting together, he was with uh, his ex uh, fiance and they had just had a baby and um, he just flew over and to J Lo. He, huh? he just went right, and I was just like, "Really, it's dude? Too fast. Okay, y'all shit ain't gonna last." My question is: If Hallie, Sandra Bullock, J Lo, uh, and five other women, all these other celebrities can't stay together, we don't stand a chance. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we do stand. <laughs> we all do these, stand a chance. They all the money and shit. It's all short term. I think we do stand a chance because they're all in the spotlight. They got a lot of shit going on. And Jennifer is probably more concerned about her uh, career than holding her family together. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. It's it's sad. I hate to see them break up, but I know I saw that comment a long time ago. Me too. Yeah, as far as the la- latter part of their relationship. I'm waiting to hear about they- the side piece. Hey. Yeah. Oh, coming. Mark Anthony. I-, I heard rumor I'm allegedly to hear about the side piece. I'm that uh, maybe one of the background singers. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. He got but a couple they, kids out of it. Time to move on. And, yeah. yeah, he has a few kids, not just for. But what do you think about the the pressures of her career being shitting on his, basically <laughs> defecating? <laughs> I mean, they're both television stars and they're yeah. both mu- uh, music stars. But I can and, tell you what J Lo's on. Can anybody at this table name the show that Mark Anthony is on? He's a singer. He's exactly. On, and he's on Hawthorne. Exactly. But you, well, yeah, yes. but see how you had to think for a second. But no, what I show didn't, I didn't know that. Exactly. Yeah. You didn't know that. How's and, his music uh, career? I don't know. I, mean, I can't tell you. More, I think he sings I Need to Know. It's more of a Latin, you know, know, yeah, a Latin it's career. Very Latin. Yeah. It's goes, very Latin. It's a very Latin career. And they both go overseas and perform. They have very lucrative Put it this way. Put it this way. Who's bigger? Well, J-Lo is bigger, but for a while, she was very mellowed out. She was having her children. It don't matter. It don't matter. She's hot right now. Let me tell you what I what I read. Okay. When she won People's Sexiest Woman. Yes. He did a toast. And he said, "If when you win, I win. We win this together." I would have been like, this "Nigga, sucker. you ain't win shit." I was <laughs> motherfucker. You wasn't even nominated. Yeah, he thought oh, he was wow. being supportive. That's the but old, to me, that's done. Right? Yeah, it's like that's we win this together. That. Nigga, you, win you didn't win this. Maybe you win uh, the most sexy skeleton. You win Maria Shriver, but you ain't no damn <laughs> <come> down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you say that about Maria Shriver. <laughs> they both look like skeletons. Oh, I love yeah. another one who does. He does. Um, he does I'm going to repeat yeah. that. If Hallie, out. Sandra Bullock, J-Lo, Maria Shriver can't stay together, <laughs> we all in trouble. I don't think. I just think that their careers got in the way. But they will be still um, handling their businesses together. They That's have what they say. a couple of television oh, shows. Yeah. Answer this for me, Glenn. You know what? I yes. respect that. You I respect Miami that Dolphins? a lot. They got like a minority stake in it. What oh, do you wow. th- I got to ask Jim, I know it's not sports, but I got to know. Do you think it would bother you if your wife was that much more successful than you and she did the exact <laughs> same job as you? I want to know. Exact same. Oh, God. She, you guys do the exact same job and she, her career shits That's on yours. Mayor rights that, activist segment. I know. Would that make a difference? That's what that is. Yeah, it wouldn't work out. I think J-Lo initiated this. I don't think Mark Anthony initiated this. But, I really believe but J-Lo initiated this. what I'm saying this. is if mutual. she yeah. initiated it, Maybe his okay, insecurities. Okay, so y'all want a woman to have her thing going on, or y'all want somebody that's depending on you? Which one is it? I'll take if I, B. if I depend on you, then I'm a gold digger. And, and no, I, no, no. It, Listen, but, okay. I, I well, don't, I'm not going to marry a Wanda Sykes. That's funny to me. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. I'm not I'm doing not. it, dude. I'm not sitting at the kitchen table mad because she's okay, funny so as the, shit. The and I'm all right. Okay, but what if she's a uh If I marry a comment, that bitch is going to be barely funny. What if she's the Oprah? I'd use I, you for a while. Yeah, I wouldn't marry the bitch, though. You yeah. wouldn't? No, I'm a user and get a little money. So you, are you intimidated by strong women? Uh, a woman stronger than me, yes. More annoyed by them. <laughs> Which is hard to do, him. but yes. Okay, but okay, but now I depend on you. I depend on you. I'm more I attracted see. to that. But okay, but Kyle, oh, any other time I say that, I'm a gold digger. Any but other it's time not I'm gold, gold digging. digging. It's, not getting, it's not gold digging. It's, it's, it's like you are telling me, you're letting me know that you need me. I need you to, pro- to provide for the family, to protect me and all those things. Yes. I'd rather have that yes, yes, yes. than okay. marry a woman that's funny. That's funny. Oh, okay. Kyle. Wow. It's not happening. Oh, Kyle, there you mention? go. Keep saying that. I'm getting hard <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't need Kyle. Viagra. Just keep saying that, and I look at Glenda. <laughs> Shut up, Kyle. Kyle. Keep doing that. I can't. Kyle. No, I can't. I'm the kitchen, <laughs> bitch. Why don't you mop the kitchen <laughs> in your drawers, bitch? <laughs> mop it in your drawers, bitch. That's stupid. You're horrible. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I don't oh date guys like you. Well, maybe <laughs> you should try. You a motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. 
Kaya, one of your boys, DMX, oh. freed from prison after seven months. Move. <laughs> Get out the way. <laughs> uh, DMX, whose real name is Earl Simmons, was released from a state prison in Yuma <laughs> today after serving seven months for a probation violation. DMX was supposed to leave last week, but had his release date pushed back after allegedly committing seven disciplinary infractions oh, yeah. during his incarceration. He just can't. He, I mean, what's wrong, DMX? What's wrong, baby? Oh, poor baby. I saw the Jeez. list of infractions. His He's immediate plan is to see his family, he says, and resume work on his new album. He told All Hip Hop that upon release, I'm feeling good, feeling really good. I spoke to my. OK, Kyle, you got to come do the DMX voice. On how he sounded really when he got good. out of really good. Feeling really good. DMX say do, somebody raped him. <laughs> <The girl> raped <laughs> Did him. he say that? Oh yeah, yeah back that in the a, day. Oh, yeah, right. that was yeah. DMX. Hope he didn't get that. raped in jail. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's jacked up. He says he wants to see his daughter <laughs> while the sun is up, and he's going to be in the studio. I'm glad because he was taught. He had at one point he was talking about quitting the music uh, business. Was he becoming an actor? Oh, jeez. Can y'all leave <laughs> that stuff for the actors, please? Can we get a break? I don't go out trying to rap and whatnot. That would be good. Do I go out trying to play uh, football and basketball? I mean, can I get a damn reality show? No, oh, that'd be wonderful. The Good Witch. What would it be called? <laughs> um, the Good Witch Finds Love or The Good Witch. Let's like, see. Like The Bachelorette type thing? Find the G-Spot. Finding the oh, G-Spot. Find that quickly. Finding the G-Spot. Yeah. Guess that what? That would be a good. What, what's up, Ann? Jill Scott has Jill Scott. announced she is no longer celibate. I, she was celibate? <laughs> That's a female. Jill <laughs> Scott, Miss Spread My Limbs from Limb to Limb. And that's hilarious. Is that what she said she about her selling? legs? Yep, she said she was dickmatized. Wow. Oh. Yep, she told the magazine that her past frustration with relationships with men was just frustrating. And she was caught up in the whole sexuality of your relationship. And she said, well, she said, you shouldn't be caught up in the sexuality of your relationship. It's not going any, especially if it's not going anywhere. So, so I've, I've been I there. That I've been dickmatized. You've been, you've been dickmatized. Yeah, there. Once upon a time, I was dickmatized. I yeah, moments. And all, all I wanted was to get, you know, some dick down. Damn, mm-hmm. that's, that's all right, fellas. So you think it's just a phase she was going through? But I, I mean, Jill, come on. How old is she? It's like, okay, let's get past that. But you know, I guess it never ends. There are some sixty-year-old women running around here dickmatized. Let me so. find them. Not a lot. Pukas. <laughs> I guess. She said yeah. she, she wants women to. I got some medicine to, for you. She, her message is to be sure that the relationship is not strictly based on sex. I think. Oh well, yeah, of course. How, how old is she? She has to be like thirty-eight. And she just learned that, huh? I mean, but <laughs> yeah, some people I, are I'd slow love to learner. Put up with that for thirty-eight years. I've had learn. to. I had to learn that some people don't know that. You know, I had to realize. Usually, that they're very good looking and they're put on pedestals a whole life. Yeah. So then they start thinking about thirty or somewhere around there. Oh yeah, yeah. she's cute. She looks cute in that yeah. picture. That's picture. Who's that, Jill Scott? Yeah. Yeah. She's a beautiful woman, beautiful woman. Big ups mm-hmm. to her. I met her at uh, her listening party That's why here she just learned that. in L.A. And mm-hmm. she has a brand new little baby boy and um, uh, adorable woman. Um, but, yeah, she uh, I, I was a little surprised when she got with the, her drummer and, um, and they had why? a baby. So, so because they had a, she got a baby by him. So, so not surprised that she got he with him. But been really that, beating it up. Yeah. But, but damn, <laughs> but to have, I mean, to have the baby too. My, I'm, I was like, what you supposed to do? Have an abortion, Glenda? I mean, but oh, to decide I mean, that you, you want to have like, the baby. You sound like, well, she maybe she shouldn't have had the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying that, but I mean, you just got with this guy. Now you're gonna bring a child into the world by him, and y'all now y'all. Sounds not like even she's together. got some pretty good advice to teach the kid. Yeah. Well, sarcastic. thank God it's a little boy because, oh my gosh, a little girl. I wouldn't want a little girl right about now. Yeah. Kyle, what are you going to tell your daughter? Uh Oh, man. I guess you don't, hit <laughs> don't, plank. <laughs> don't plank. Don't plank. Don't plank. Don't <laughs> plank on your back. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> don't plank. So, Jennifer Hudson lands a role in Three Stooges. What Big is up that to Jennifer about? Hudson. Why do you say that? I, I think it's know. wonderful. That's called hate. <laughs> the no, no. <laughs> No, no, I'm, I was referring to the movie. What is the movie? Oh, the three. Uh, yeah, is girl, it a, you know that well, they remake uh, the uh, Larry, Moe, and Curly. Curly. No, but it's like what? Oh, I what's mean, that about? I can't even imagine a modern day Three Stooges. I can't even. When I say Superman, what, what would you think that is? I wonder what that's no. about. No, is it an animation? No, it's no. not an animation. Is Jim Carrey in it? 
Let's right. see. Let's see. Okay. The ever growing Three know. Stooges cast Probably. has added another member. According to Deadline, Jennifer Hudson has landed the role of Sister Rosemary in the Fairly Brothers Three Stooges. The Oscar winner Ooh. isn't the only nun on yeah. set. <laughs> Fairly Brothers, they know how to do it. <laughs> Larry to David it. has signed on to play Mother what? Mangale. Oh, man. They and kill Jane it. Lynch will fill the role of Mother Superior. So Larry David is playing one Beast. of the nuns. Beast. That's going to be hysterical. Oh, that's hilarious. I just, a we modern day three stooges seems so who weird. The stooges? Uh, the Call stooges, in. Let's that, see. If you know, 855 Fox 9898. It doesn't say yet who, who, who's playing Tweet the stooges. Let's know. see. With I'll Hudson on board, there are now three nuns for each of the three stooges. Spots that were filled after an exhaustive search. To recap, Sean Hayes okay. landed the role of Larry. There okay. Will Sasso will be your curly and okay. Chris. DM Natopoulos will portray Mo. I just butchered his name yeah. like that, like Never the woman did that penis. Chris DM will Damn, portray no Mo. Jim Carrey. Yeah, huh? sounds like a star-studded cast. I know. I'm like, how do you that? not have Jim Carrey, the, one of the that. best physical comedians of our time? Lloyd Christmas, man. Doing, yeah, man, doing the Three Stooges. Come on now. But it just seems Maybe like that all that physical comedy, it just seems so dated to me. I don't know. It's but physical comedy will never, ever, ever go away. I don't know if it's for adults. Okay, so would you see? I guess you could a modern day version of Lucy. Mm, Ooh, I can see that. That'd be tough for no. some that's girl. What to that's exactly She's like what a comic I'm saying. Genius. I could do Lucy. That's no, you can't. I think I could Beyonce do could do Lucy. <laughs> I could do Lucy. I Ricky. think Beyonce could try to do because Lucy was cute in her day. She was. I could do yeah, Lucy. She's like a. She, yeah, Lucy was like Lucy a Beyonce. Was in her you know day. what? I watch Lucy with my boys every day at lunch when we. I eat. could do Beyonce Lucy. Beyonce couldn't be that funny. Damn yeah, it, I, I said I could do Lucy. Lucy's like the funniest I bet you what can't do Ethel? Did you Lucy like Ethel? Yeah, I like Ethel. Nah, she was all right. Lucy was Fred girl. too. Lucy was the shit. <laughs> I hated Lucy uh, when Lucy I was a kid, though. Lucy handpicked Ethel Did because she? she wasn't as pretty as her. Hilarious. I, I said I could do Lucy. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to kill myself. I hated Lucy when I was a kid, but now, I mean, it was like some chick stuff, but now I watch this shit every day. She's hilarious. Lucy was a beast. <laughs> she was funny. Funny as a mother. Hilarious. It'll be Lushquita. Oh, God. Lushquita. Where Cheryl? I love Lucia Quita. <laughs> Cheryl Underwood. <laughs> I love Lucia Quita. I told you, I, I'm sleepy as hell. I was about, I'm about to fuck Cheryl show up. Okay, we're gonna come right back in a minute. We're but the fuck more, Cheryl. more with entertainment when we come back. Eight five five three six nine ninety eight ninety eight. The Cheryl Underwood show is Glenda the Goodwood sitting in Foxhole Radio, Sirius XM ninety eight eight five five three six nine ninety eight ninety eight. We're back. You gotta bang that Glenda. The Cheryl Underwood show is Glenda the Good Witch. I got my team holding me down. Succulent Stacy, Ingrid Ass Kyle, Y. Jim Kelly. That's represented to all the plankers in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that is? That's Toto. Bang that, Toto. <laughs> Bang that, y'all. We still going to wrap up a few uh, entertainment stories. Call us, 855-369-9898. 855-369-9898. What are the stories we have in the news? We have some Shawnee Shawnee O'Neal. Shani O'Neal. Oh, oh my boy. Yeah, she's one of the oh, God. <laughs> Oh what? my goodness! She's what one now? of the producers of Basketball Wine. Yes, oh, she's crazy. I right? And why. she says she's she gets a lot of flack. People say to her, "You're you're saying the portrayal of black women is bad on TV, but your show is one of the number one reasons why it is." She says, "You know what? Guess what? I agree." Mm, well, what the, the hell? And we're tuning in. To check Wait it a second. <laughs> what's her, what? What's her? Co- well, her she she says she gets a lot of flack. People tell her that the b- betrayal of black women the is pe- betrayal, the, the, the portrayal, the portrayal, 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 betrayal, the betrayal, betrayal, not betrayal, betrayal B? and portrayal, both. The portrayal of black yeah, but women. She's not, she's not complaining about black how women. black women are portrayed. Is she ever in anything? Say that again. She's not. She's complaining she complain? about anything else. Well, she basically says that there's a table full of executives. And she ain't the only one producing. She, she says, look at the credits. I'm not the only one producing. Oh, don't do but that. See, don't the, do the, the regular, the regular people don't know, like, look at the credits. I'm Who not, cares? They it, don't know that. Nobody was here. I ain't the, well, she that's, probably is saying, hey, look at my check. I'm cool with say it. Say that. Right. Say that's that. But don't say about. I'm not the only yeah. one. Boom, Quisha down in Natchez, Mississippi, doesn't know anything about studying the credits at the end of the show hey, to know whether or not. Like even uh, if that's right. Uh, well, she said that she didn't Shawnee. intend for the show to take. The show has kind of taken on the life, a life of its own. And I can believe Which that. Is what happened? Yeah, and I, I can believe, believe that. that. And man, honestly, it's all about you know sensationalism, and you want to get people on the show who are, she says it shows how shallow these so. athletes are if because they have watch, to deal with that. Oh my god! If you try to wow. watch basketball wise, try to it? watch it for ten seconds. I dare you. You I don't, cannot I don't turn it. 
once you're watching, you're going to start you cursing the at the television. Like, you, you're you going to curse the TV yes. for the next 22 you minutes until it's gone. You can't even I, you know, I people look are at it, that way. I look it's at great. it in a different It seems like they're acting to me. But no. it, you get so furious it's, watching it, you watch provoked. the whole show, all, all commercials, through the credits, cursing at the TV, <laughs> and they just got you. It's a lot of provoking. They pin, uh, they, set one of, they set each other up against each other. I did a reality show, kind of reality show years ago. Girls and behaving girls, girls behaving badly, badly with Chelsea with Handler, Chelsea who Handler, act like she don't know no damn body no act more. Like she don't know nobody I no more. I knew her ass when she, all she did was wore them seven jeans She's all the star. damn time. That wore them seven <laughs> jeans all the time. <laughs> but now. um, so damn what? Shit, ret- Chelsea, return my calls, Heffa. Anyway, <laughs> the producers, we would get uh, what were they called? Marks or you know, for the uh, to do the uh, pranks with us, and half the time they were setting our asses up, and we didn't know it. To make the you know the show but even more how, that's uh, how interesting. They, that's exactly sure what their job is to do. To In sure. reality, yeah, they their job is to throw some of the people on the show a curveball. Yes. so it you can see a real reaction. Yes, but mm-hmm. that's what I mean. That's what reality is. And reality TV is a lot of really it is not. Most of it is not scripted, and a lot right. of, you know people come on. They say, okay, suppose we uh, stick Linda in the butt with a pen and see what's gonna happen. Oh, what her bubble? What her bubble booty deflate? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to see some windmill arms going well, on. Their job is to, to mix it up. She said there's a little bit of trash uh, kind of sprinkled into the cast that she's totally against. And um, Now, you know what she means by that? Now, she's talking about the L.A. cast. There's the L.A. basketball wives mm-hmm. coming out soon. And those Govan sisters are part of that show. And uh, Gloria Govan's sister, uh, I can't recall her name right now, uh, so had an affair with Shaquille. OK. Oh. And uh, she also has children by. Um, come on, Kyle. What's the, what's oh, the, the Govan? Uh, what's the baby daddy? Oh, I'm about to say Govan? my own girl. Shout out to Nicole Govan from the IE. What's it's up? Not the girl? Gilbert Arenas. One. Yes. Oh, Gilbert this? Arenas is baby is mama. True? Yes. Had an affair with Shaquille. Right. Uh, I can't think of her name. Uh, baby mama Govan. Yeah. And so uh, so I believe that's what Sh- uh, Shawnee means when she says that the there's a little right. bit of trash sprinkled into the cast and her, that like I'm totally against. her personal vendetta, not well, a actual, like, she said she was like, totally hands like off with the cast. With so the cast she had for nothing LA. to do with it. Basically. With the L.A. cast. So the other producers, they basically uh, told Shawnee, look, we're we doing this shit over here in L.A., whether you like it or not. And yes, we're going to. Uh, and we're here's gonna, your check. Right. Here's your check. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And she's cool yeah. with it. She birthed that baby. So uh, raise it the best way you can, yeah. whether it rebels or not. So. That sounds about right. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is. I I thought about you guys when I when I pulled. You this think story. about me every night, so stop. You a damn me. lie. Anyway, Tiger Woods' mistress, uh, uh, alleged mistress Rachel, Rachel you, you can, can tell, tell. Yeah. You can tell, has reportedly paid back most of the payoff money that she received she because she keep her damn mouth she, shut. Yeah, she um she violated the the no what is it. No, no speaking clause. No speaking what do they clause? call it? Yeah, the confidentiality gag agreement, order. the gag order. Yeah, yeah. She know, supposedly violated it, order. and now she is suing Gloria Allred. <laughs> her I love crazy. Gloria Allred, man. Every, a lot of people like her. Like, no, I don't really like her. <laughs> that's crazy. She's Gloria like, Allred. Uh, she's like she's my devil. inspiration. I, yeah. Gloria she got her an eight going. million dollar settlement. I would not utter I want to be Tony the Tigers name. I wouldn't talk about cat I wouldn't talk about cornflakes. She just would have kept your yeah. mouth shut. I wouldn't go to the zoo. None of that. Who the Bengals? Who's the who's the Tigers? Who's the team? I don't want to no, I don't want to watch them. Nothing. Oh, that's what the Tony the Tiger thing was? Okay, my Nothing. bad. I missed that. Stupid. <laughs> Rachel said she I never get it now. broke the agreement. She claims because well, she yes, said she, did, she joined that show. She only said that something about being addicted to love. She said, Yes, I was addicted to love, but she never mentioned Tiger's she, name. Yeah, it could have been anybody. Now, first of all, that she did a damn that was dude, you know that thing is written so good. I know. When you pay off side bitches, just take the money and <laughs> shut up. Jim that's Kelly, for that was golden. That's I, exactly yeah. what she couldn't do. Living my life like it's golden. Living my li- that was golden, Jim Kelly. Golden. Yeah. Couldn't even do it. Is she the broad that took a picture with a tiger and did like a public service? No, no. she never opened her stuff. mouth. That's the one. She's, that the, very, she's the, most the very popular first one. That, one. That was on they, they alleged that there's probably a she's hooking him up with the girls. Uh-huh. So all alleged he had to make sure she was going to have a press conference mm-hmm. to out him. Mm-hmm. And then right before that, it got canceled, and she got a settlement got a to settlement. believe of ten million bucks. Right. That's what the speculation is. Wow! And then so Gloria sure. got her that. Gloria set it all up, so she got her that stuff. Ah, Gloria. So now, Gloria. when she agrees to do on the show, 
the Tigers people come and says, no, 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 that's part of the agreement. You can't do that. So she knows that's correct, that she couldn't do it, so she had to give some of the money back. Well, she thinks Gloria is in with it. Oh, of Tigers people, and that's why she's trying to sue Gloria. Uh, oh. Gloria, you know, see, I know how all these side yeah, bitches work. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're all chasing that money. They on another level. Yeah, they on some other shit. Um, condolences to the young man. I, I, okay, if you've been living under a rock, Lamar Odom. Yeah, uh, was happened? involved in a terrible car accident I ain't in, in a uh, rock. I didn't hear in about New it. York. Queens. Lamar was on his way to his cousin's funeral in Queens, New York, mm. and the car. Uh, that he was in crashed to a into a motorcyclist. Wow! The motorcyclist uh, motorcycle propelled into the air and hit a 15 year old boy who died. Damn! Yeah. Who was driving? Was it Lamar driving? Was, no, no, it was it a, was a car. Dry, he had a driver, yeah. oh, you know, good. a car. Well, yeah. to do it. it wasn't Lamar, but Lamar was the passenger. Yeah, I just don't think this is news. It's really. so it's terrible, and so uh, condolences to that family. And uh, 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 Lamar was said kid. to have been devastating and crying at the scene and. The teenager sustained se- severe years. head injuries and was transported um, to the hospital, but he died the next day. Do, that so, sucks. do you think the driver's <sighs> going to get manslaughter? The driver hit a. Mm, well, the driver hit Probably the motorist, but the, 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 the motorcycle flew into the. Oh, the it the, was a mess. That's terrible. Ooh, was um, mess. Lamar and, and Chloe, they tweeted um, the condolences. Uh, by saying that their thoughts and prayers are with the boy's family along um, with his wife uh, Lamar wrote our love will give us strength love conquers all Ugh. I love Gross. how you guys miss one story what, what? Tiger's ex what about her what about got her? a new guy loaded like oh, a yeah. yes. billionaire of yeah she has gold a gold digging ass gold yeah. digging how is she a gold Oh, oh, two Again? billionaires, bitch. What? Yeah. Yeah. Another rich guy? Another According to you all, yeah. nobody will touch her if they don't have as much as her, right? Wait a minute, wait a minute. According wait a minute. to what you wait. said she, earlier. She didn't, she didn't make it. She but made she it by the other it. way. Yeah, she, it's not because of her brain. I'm talking about talented bitches. I ain't talking about money. Yeah. No, I, when not I said Oprah, hungry. when I no, said no, no, Oprah, no, no, no. you said Oprah's you talented. talented. She Eli's got not. Oprah didn't get that money from divorce. Oprah's not a comedian, but she's talented. okay. But she's okay, talented. she still has it. Yeah, she no, no, no. Can't, I'm not fuck, can't I'll get fuck with Elin. I fuck with Elin because that bitch is stupid. Yeah, I run that game. And I take Elin. her money. Yeah, oh, yeah. Why would you take Me Oprah's money? Kelly. How come you won't take Oprah's because money? Because Oprah's brilliant. Elin ain't gonna yeah. be dating y'all motherfuckers. Right. Elin <laughs> must not be too stupid. She got I'm another damn money. That's what I'm saying. She's. No, Maybe no, no. training off somebody yeah, else. She's j- but she knows where to find these niggas. She uh-huh. is dating within her Some element. She's dating on her level. And That's the rumor her level. was is that guy who actually had a relationship in the past with, with Rachel. Rachel yeah, Utah. exactly. Oh, <laughs> why didn't we say that? I love it. Yeah. I, love I didn't Rachel. want to talk about it's that. Like I, I hope for Rachel people. gets him again. Yeah. Uh, you know what I hope? <laughs> I this is what I hope. Oh, this is what I hope. I hope this dude cheats on her with Rachel. You can tell. Oh, my God. Why? You should have stayed behind, Why do you want Elaine to be cheated on Tiger the victim is the one. that made a hundred million dollars. Let me tell you what Corey Holcomb Tiger said. Tiger cheated on his wife. Let me tell you what the, the honorable Corey Holcomb said about this. This shit is so That's hilarious. The nigga said, You're gonna nigga quote said, Corey on our show. Let me tell you what the honorable <laughs> Corey Holcomb said. He said, you know what? If you leave your bed for another dude, you're just going to get cheated on by a stranger. Hilarious. What the, hell? what the hell? I don't know what the she hell. She's gonna stay with Tiger. She's that gonna stay with Tiger. Oh, gotcha. And gotten cheated on is one of But Tiger, saying. that shit was ridiculous. Just no, one after nah, the other. Nah. That was just. That was just it's a bit hard. Hundred and twenty-six women. He really? deserves one hundred and twenty-six yeah. women. Because she got a million for each one. Because he's swinging the golf club. Because he's swinging it yeah. for a billion dollars. Yeah, that yeah. pays <laughs> money. That's yeah. crazy. That's when ridiculous. you got a billion dollars, you deserve a billion bitches. Yeah. Okay. Real quick, I'm going to do the box office, and I wanted to talk about We're going to go back to some of these crazy stories before we hit um, um, the sports with Kyle and Kelly. Uh, we're doing top ten, okay? Oh. Uh, midnight in Paris. <laughs> you know, oh, Cheryl I, I like to check out here. Yeah, I know. You do I'll be back, guys. 65. Bathroom break. <laughs> 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 we're just doing ten. Midnight in Paris was that we came in at number ten. Saw it. Uh, Super 8 at number nine. I saw Super 8. It was really good. Larry Crown at number eight. Bad Teacher. I want to see that. It came in at number seven. That's Winnie the good. Pooh at number six. Winnie the Pooh? Number yep. five is that. Cars 2. Mm-hmm. Number four is Zookeeper. Yep. Number three, Horrible Bosses. Shout out to uh, Horrible Boss, Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Tr- number two, <laughs> Glinda's not here today. <laughs> I want to take Stacey's role. <laughs> number two. What's Winnie the Pooh about? Why would they recreate <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> no, like who wants to? That's the animation that's different. Oh, okay. Number two, Transformers, Dark of the Moon. 
Okay. And number one, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Oh, Part wanna, two. Did you see that, TC? Oh, my like God. I want to see it. $480 million. O-M-G. It broke the record of all records, I heard. That's for the first crazy. Weekend. Yeah. That is Them unreal. kids are rich. That's white folks, Jim Kelly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Harry Potter, ouch. That's white folks. Right oh, there, we want to touch man. on one crazy hey, look, story before we... um. Before we go to Kyle uh, Sports with Kyle and Kelly, the story about the woman who died at her funeral, right? Oh, in Greece? Was that in Greece? Greece is the one. Yeah. Here's a little Cam Newton. He'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> tell us the story. Landon, Landon. Cam Newton Johnson. All right. Well, allegedly. Uh huh. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to start out. Right. You know. Get your journalism so on. So allegedly, um, a lady. I can't even pronounce her name. It's like super long. Greek lady. It was, it One was of them a long Greek, Greek, Greek names, lady, like okay. Petros Papadinkis. She was 49. She was wrongly declared of being dead by doctors. Uh -huh. And so as people were having a funeral for <laughs> she her, stood up. she woke up <laughs> what and you heard people doing? praying over her. <gasps> oh and my gosh. people said that when she woke up, her eyes started to flutter and everything. Yeah. And so they rushed her to the hospital, and, and 12 killed minutes her. later, she died <laughs> from heart failure. Oh, I didn't mean to laugh. <laughs> Everybody she laughed. She died of a heart attack? <laughs> what is it? She died it from heart quote, failure. Unquote, heart failure. So I want to know what they was praying, because so if they was praying for her to come back to death, life, literally. that's awesome. Oh, oh my God. That's <laughs> Y'all think I'm dead? You think I'm dead? Oh, my God. I, I love how you laugh at a dead person, but believe. the gold diggers just piss you <laughs> off. <laughs> That's Sorry. hilarious. That's, that's, oh. I didn't mean to laugh. That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> no, that's funny. So that was, uh, that was entertainment funny. news yeah. with Succulent Stacy and Glenda Thicke. Which I'm sorry, Landon. Real, real quick. Yes. This is funny, too. They, they <laughs> Kyle her, and Jim. They claimed what? that her first death yes. was also heart-related. Uh, okay. Heart <laughs> they should just <laughs> wait another few days, see if her ass wakes up. That's again. crazy. That's like the woman who was being arrested and called nine one one because she was being arrested. <laughs> Seems like we've done this before. <laughs> like, what the hell? Um, okay, are we going to break? <laughs> okay, we'll be right back with sports. Kyle and Kelly talk sports. Foxhole Radio. It's the Cheryl Underwood show. Sitting in for Cheryl is more Glenda, we will be the good witch. Damn it. <laughs> Call us eight five five three six nine ninety eight ninety eight. So we'll be back. We're back. It's the Cheryl Underwood Show in the Foxhole, Sirius XM 98. This is Glenda the Good Witch sitting in for Cheryl. Cheryl, we miss you, especially me. I haven't seen you in so long, and I can't wait to see you again. Hurry back, hurry back, hurry back. Harry back? I know what you got to Harry back. 855 369 Shout out to Harry back. You know who you are. 855 369 Call in. Kyle and Kelly talk sports. It's oh, sports yeah. with Kyle and Kelly. Go ahead and cut off the mics, my Jim Kelly. <laughs> Y'all <Yo>, crazy. <laughs> Y'all ain't got shit to talk about. So lockout's almost over, brother? Lockout's almost done. It should be done Probably tomorrow. Uh, Which one? There's small hurdles. NFL, NFL, NFL lockout. The NFL oh, lockout. M NBA, it's awful. It's way worse it's than NFL. Oh, They'll wow. miss half the season at least, I bet. That's oh, what I would think for I NBA. Agree. I agree. Yeah. Because they're, they're really losing money. Yeah. And, they, and the players, players don't think so. They don't want to give that money fight. back. It's yeah. not a, hey, man, oh. you got to give some money back. You're going to have to give a lot of money back. they're losing a lot of money. And yeah. the NBA has good deals. They, they, they need to stop crying. Yeah. Guaranteed so those guys contract. will probably go yeah, overseas, on, huh? Dude. Some of them. Some, some of them. them. The, the, to me, they all should. Because that's what I would do. If if a yeah. chick told me I couldn't be in if she tried to lock me out of my house, I'd be at another bitch's house in a heartbeat. Without question. Go overseas. Wives, <laughs> girlfriends, call me. I've lived in several countries Depends overseas. how much more you can knock out but you mm -hmm. know the older guys probably not as much but yeah, for the oh younger yeah. guys i'd definitely I'm go over there okay. probably next door neighbor's house but what the nfl it? lockout yes mm -hmm. what about it should yes. be over tomorrow okay well, perhaps small hurdles mm -hmm. there's some things they have to clear up a couple of lawsuits and that kind of stuff but they should be done by tomorrow presented to both sides the players the unions hopefully they can sign off on the whole thing by the weekend there might yeah. be something going on free agency probably a week from tomorrow mm -hmm. and then camp a little bit later well, so. according to um, Stephen A. Uh, John Clayton, who I heard on the Stephen A. Smith show on the way, comes on ESPN Radio, was saying that the deal isn't really significant. They could have done this five months ago. Really? Yeah, he's saying well, that I'm sure. John Clayton was like, there, there isn't anything special in it. They could have done this a long time ago, basically was the point of view. Both mm -hmm. sides are wow. just stubborn as hell. Yeah, and they didn't really, they didn't, nobody really won. The lawyers, 
Yeah, the lawyers right, made right, out right. like madmen. Linda, they're, they're loaded. There you go. Yeah, hmm. they're getting like I. Like, I heard like thirty percent of the. Uh, it's nuts how much the lawyers made out of this whole thing. Shout Not out to, to the uh, lawyers' convention coming to Las Vegas. Soon. See, see, see she she keeps that kind of shit on her calendar, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyers convention in Las Vegas. She was at the last one in Saskatchewan. August twentieth. <laughs> nice. Her ass ain't no joke. So is Kobe staying with the team? Yeah, he'll stay with the team. He's too old. He won't go over there. Kobe's he talked about going he? to Turkey, and he's, like, but there's a like big crazy. scheme over there. Uh, money like everywhere in the world. But he was right going to go. Where he was he talking gonna go? about going to Turkey, but ha! they they, they made it seem like it was going to be a done deal if it wasn't for that. The money, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was They're going. Fraud. How old Which is I don't he? understand. Thirty three, thirty four. Yeah, he's 33. in his thirties now. Really He'll be thirty three. Wow. I didn't know that. His knees are too bad. Yeah, too. I, I would be surprised if he that. went through with it. I just couldn't see why he would do that with uh, with him needing yeah. the rest. So more did he than break anybody. his silent tree? I know he was on the silent. Yeah, he was. In, he's in China right now, I guess. He's or he still was not last talking week. to people. He he's talking. I mean, he was in Germany. Too getting his knee surgery. Oh, we were so. both in Germany. Yeah, I should have looked him up. This should have called at him. <laughs> well, <laughs> you and your white dude, him and his white girl, y'all gonna have fun. Oh, no. He's got a past with knee surgeries and Kobe would have had you face down, shit. ass up. Mm-hmm. There, there you go. go. That's the type. way. The He's Colorado too- way. I don't like. That. Yeah, <laughs> the ego way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to bring back a couple But the younger Jarvis. guys like Dwight Howard and them. Dwight Howard said he might go to China to play. So mm, he's wow. one of the younger stars. But I, I would I would I would think quite a bit of people will go over there for the money, especially yes, for the money. because the funnel they'll spend their money <laughs> like mad man. Yeah, they will. Now yeah. is Kobe's dad uh coaching the Sparks now? Yeah, we don't talk about the WNBA here. But <laughs> no, we do not. But speaking of women's sports, uh the women's USA World Cup. Cup choked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they choked. choked. I hate to say women choked because that sounds so sexy. Did anybody watch it? I actually watched it. I didn't it. watch it. It was great. They were mm-hmm. up and they missed like three, four opportunities in the first half. And then that they sucks. kept letting Japan stay around and then they lost in a shootout. Not and good. the hot goalie lost. Damn it. Yeah, the hot Damn. goalie hot lost. Hope Solo. She's oh, hot. well. She's hot. Oh, yeah. Is she hot? Solo. Yeah, yeah, she can get it. Yeah. Hmm. Hope Solo. What else is going on, going going on, on? White Jim Kelly? Uh, Darren got, uh, Clark won the British Open. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big ups to Darren Clark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Call me Darren. See, no Tiger. So no Rory. See, no <laughs> Rory. Michael Roy. Is that his last name? Michael Roy? Yeah. Some Rory. He, he wasn't in contention. Hmm. Phil was Mickelson it? was, though. He was the U.S. guy. He took second. Okay. Uh, so what did you think about Venus's, um, I mean, oh, like, yeah. Serena, Serena's, Serena's dress outfit. That at one, the very SBs. cute. Oh, no. I saw her on SBs. the beach. <laughs> oh, on the beach. Did you see the beach pic? She's such a hard body. I didn't body. see the big be- uh, beach pic. What it, is it? Uh, she's so hard. I'm like, can you soften some stuff up around, somewhere? That stomach looked pretty soft. The stomach was nice and hard. Did it look soft? I thought it was I hard. It did. What did um, you think about her hot pink SB <laughs> outfit? I didn't see it was it. high, right? Ah. I kept hearing about it. I, I heard it was high. I need to pee. She got that a out. tight stomach. She's yeah. bad. She got a badass body. I'm not mad. And but she still got them thick thighs. I'm not mad at her. And she got And a- Common was rolling all over that. Okay, but the important thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, back to sports. Yeah. Hey, yeah. it's sports. Sports. The NFL high lockout high. is the most important thing. Yes. Yeah, it is. We're not missing no time, so all yeah, that's of us good. guys are good <gasps> till that's February. Good. That's Did the most important sport shot? in the world. That's line. good. Damn, Gina. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, Stacey. Who's got her, go. her or J-Lo? She got a oh real booty. Oh, my God, Serena. That's my a goodness. real booty right yeah. here. So football starts next month, right? Or oh. September. This camp month. will start next weekend. Oh, next yeah. weekend? Oh, well, good. Yeah. Congratulations, first, guys. Maybe. Congratulations, first, to NFL fans. Hopefully. It's not guaranteed. They're close. I haven't thought about football so long. I'm trying to think who's even picked. It can't be the Packers, are they? Uh, right now they will, but here's the thing that's going to change. Because they took for so long to get a deal, they still haven't done free agency. Free agency mm-hmm. usually starts in March, mm-hmm. which is a wild thing. So yeah. next, like probably Monday, and this is all spent, not mm-hmm. guaranteed dates or anything like that, mm-hmm. they'll probably have a s- three-day window to sign their own free agents. Mm-hmm. And then free agency, like Wednesday or Thursday, will open up. And that's when everything will break loose because they sweet. have to spend. The players did get a good thing in their uh, in their side of the whole thing. It's a ninety percent salary floor, so teams have to spend up to that threshold. So more money goes to the players. Mm-hmm. And next week will probably be one of the wildest ever in the NFL as far as free agency. I know Randy Moss overpaying. Is a free agent. Yeah, wow. all those guys will bank. They'll yeah. they'll be loaded. It'll be a party. And Randy Moss probably has about two years. Uh, who's Randy Moss? I was gonna say he's still, he's the, Randy he's still Moss. in there. Who's Randy? All right, if you all right, that is a mic cut off. If you oh. ever do <laughs> like I said Football last week, player. nobody cut us off. Yeah. So nice. Who is Randy Moss? Randy Moss is probably the second best wide receiver. I wasn't here last week. Who's he with now? Exactly. The football. Uh, he is a free agent. He's free he doesn't have a team. 
but, but his attitude's the, killing the, him right the, now. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely. Uh, I wouldn't pay him big money, but the Jets might need him. The Jets might need him if he's got anything left. Man, at the end of last year, it didn't look like he had much left. Yeah, man. Randy he's Moss the most talented probably receiver, yeah. hands down, ever. Really? It's just, there's really? questions he's about him if he ever tapped into it the whole time. Like the the, I guess Jerry Rice would everybody would say is yeah. the greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Randy had probably more talent. I mean, he went run across the middle, and there's a debate there. But Randy was a freak. Yeah. Randy could wow. do it. Wow. You could throw the ball like sixty Matter yards. Fact, and Randy would go get it. When you play street football and you catch a deep yes. ball on somebody, it's called mossing them. Yes, is that right? Yeah. Wow. He's, he's he revolutionized it. Yeah. The deep wow. ball. It's Randy. If you go up over somebody, you mossed them. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So that's who Randy that's, Moss is. Oh, yeah, and uh, I mean, yeah, mentally, I just wish he would have stayed in because oh. he would check out at the end of the season so many times. All the time. You know I mean, really? He, yeah. he made like the best athletes in the world look stupid. Yeah. It, it made it look like playground type stuff. What Randy. Whoa. Moss could do. He's a freak. Whoa. So he's still out there, but he's well, like 34 now. What do you mean now. exactly when you say freak? 35. Like Meaning that what nature. he does, it looks like a PlayStation. The way he runs past people, especially his rookie. So it's effortless. It's so just freak of nature, like he's just really good at what he does? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he's that great. much. Or is he just well endowed? I, I never oh. saw him. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Cubs. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. My ex is in in Chicago covering that. The M. Is that the Price is Right horn? My shit was funny. <laughs> I was talking about Stacey. Oh, okay. Right oh, my ass. Ruining our damn I'm sports segment. Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask a girly question. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, boy. Because I only know them because of the real- reality shows. Chad Ochocinco and Terrell Owens, are they like still good football players? That's or, a good question. Or, or I think have they Terrell's lost done. it because they're so They're Hollywood. in Randy's kind of uh, situation. Ter- Terrell always worked hard, but he's getting older. He's up yeah. And he actually blew his knee. Yeah. So oh, he might not wow. even play this Terrell year. Terrell had the work ethic. Yeah, and Randy had the physical attributes, right? But Chad Ochocinco, I kind of feel bad for him because it's like he's like, uh, and he's getting he's up popular, there a little but bit. He just he had some good years, but I don't think he's a Hall of Fame player. No, oh. he's not a Hall of Fame. Oh player. wow! Mm. And he might. I think he'll stay with Cincinnati this year, but I won't be surprised if he's gone out Cincinnati's of there. Cincinnati's not looking good right now. Yeah, oh, that's but they have bad. to spend a lot of money. That's why there's uh, they have a lot to spend. So. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, thank you, uh, Glenda, for at least letting us talk sports today. Yeah. Oh, wild shit. I'm, I'm sitting looking in awe. Hell, I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> I only know Chad Ochocinco and Tara Owens because of the reality shows. And I don't think Chad is going to even marry Evelyn because why that's would just he? ridiculous. Why would, he, why, would, why would he do such a thing? Is that his girl? You know, she's on Basketball Wives. Oh. Which is oh, ridiculous. Oh, I did read that. With the football yeah, player. Yeah, and I don't think that. Yeah, she's a, he's a football player. But I don't think they're um, going to get married. His body language screams, I don't want you. She must be gorgeous. Mm. She, she, yeah, she had a good day. She's beautiful. She's a little past her prime, though. But all, all beautiful women, you know, so that don't mean nothing. Yeah, Pussy but, ain't got no know. face, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. it doesn't have to have a face for me to kiss it. <laughs> 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 I, love your, I love your idea of that. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, so that was sports with Kyle and Kelly. Yeah, it was. Um, we're going to have, we're going to go to break in a little bit, but. Prior to, and then we're going to come back with oh, a okay, sex burn and one series. More? Please, burn one more, by all man. means. Roger Clemens' trial got <gasps> thrown out because it's the biggest bunch of horse, you know what, in it the history of mankind. Out? Yes. Oh Two. my god! This trial because <gasps> the prosecutors messed up and brought in something that they didn't. Oh my god! Now gosh. I don't know what happened or how that's even possible. It's like uh, the judge said this is like a first year law student bray our mistake that you'd make, oh. and everybody that analyzed the trial says no. That's like a college mistake of what they did to have the whole thing thrown out. So it might not even ever come back, and Roger <gasps> might be it. walking. Oh, I love it, Jim Kelly. Oh, I saw it last week, it. and I got pissed. I love it though, man. So because you know who's friends with? He's friends with who? Who uh, from Texas? George Bush. Okay. <laughs> Is he really? But that has nothing to do with it. But <laughs> really, shut the hell up! And they made a so-called college mistake. But yeah. no, that was I love on purpose. it. Let me tell you something. Glenda. I wouldn't wow. go to the Bush thing, but so how how could that even happen? That is crazy. Me? I love and that. He was though. so guilty. I love it. That I love when people can't get caught because so, I'm in the business of not getting caught. That's the old. So nudge. when people don't get caught, I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. That is fuck it. you. But it's me just no so tile down the road, and I know in the judge, you <laughs> say make sure it's okay. It's so transparent Eat though. It's like, are you kidding me? I love it. I love it. They straight. Yep. Made him be able to One slide day, through there. One day, when I'm standing there in my suit, 
and they try to get me on some bullshit, I want to smirk at him when I get off. Of That's it. crazy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Big ups to Roger Clemens. I met him. Um, I and met walk him. out in a mink jacket. <laughs> Damn right. And flip jacket. Him off. I love it. I love it. love it. I love it. Eat a dick. You ain't got me. Well, never okay. will. Kudos to you, Mr. Clemens. We met at the uh, Michael Jordan there Golf Classic. There you go. There she goes. Congratulations, Big Daddy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll be right back with some sex in the mysterious. What are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk we'll about. We'll tell them when we get back. We'll tell them when we get okay. back. Tell them when we get Sirius back. Sirius XM ninety eight, the Foxhole Cheryl Underwood Show eight five five three six nine ninety eight ninety eight. We'll be back. We're back. <laughs> she was all there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kyle's headphones. Yeah. Attacked him. <laughs> Nigga, just hold up. Why did I try to take my headphones off? <laughs> Hand got stuck, pitched in the headphones. I'm J- Jim Kelly is the damn uh, uh, our tech here, right? I'm like, yo, Jim, yo, what the hell's up with these motherfucking headphones attacking me, yo? Can I just? I'm like, yo, man, I'm in pain, dog. What the fuck, Jim? Can you help me out? Yeah, take a picture of that. <laughs> Imagine your headphones are caught on that skin in between your thumb and, and your finger. index finger. Mm-hmm. And it was like holding on to Kyle's finger like what a damn piranha. I've yep. never seen that I said, life. James, help me. <laughs> and James says, James looked at Kyle. Kyle was just like, damn, damn, damn. I wanted a picture and of James it. Just, yeah, yeah, man, I said, James, it. help him. I said, Stacy, because Kyle and I are on, 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 are on either side of the table. He's on one end, I'm on the other. I said, Stacy, help Kyle. Kyle, she she twittering and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck, was somebody to help me? <laughs> My hand was stuck. <laughs> it looked like it hurt. dying <laughs> here. It's, yeah, it's kind of didn't look up from the, yeah, it's, it's, I it's thought swollen. you had taken, I thought Stacey it had came Oh, look at it. Computer. It's so red and puffy. Yep, look at it. James. I thought you said fuck <laughs> after the fact. I'm like, oh, he got it off now. No. Attack of the foxhole like, headphones. Get these damn headphones <laughs> off my hand. <laughs> Is that the hand that you just No, I jack off of my right hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Every once in a while, I switch to the left because I'll be yeah. getting bored. You're a switch hitter. But that yeah. shit was hysterical. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> I said, James, James, help him. James looked over at Kyle. I was like. I was laughing. I'm like, no way. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm oh, in pain dude, here, Dude, what's man. wrong with your hand? <laughs> oh, God. That motherfucker was pinching That shit was shit hysterical. I couldn't believe it. The fucking Funny headphones everybody was attacking him. I was that in shit pain. Is Kyle is not cracking a smile. No, I'm sorry not happy. Shout out to Theo Coleman Jr. Though, though <laughs> he uh, yells at me. It's not funny, dude. Help me. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I said, Stacy. Kyle, Stacy wouldn't even turn around looking. She glanced I up over her glasses at his ass. See how people I do you. He had already cursed uh, four times. Because if she oh. was pinching my hand, <laughs> okay. I couldn't figure out how to get that shit off. I'm like, <laughs> oh, God damn, <laughs> I didn't hear that. Help and me Glinda. Call. The damn headphones. Got love. Glinda, Glinda you was the only one to have my back. <laughs> Didn't nobody jump up either. What well, no, the headphones? Glinda was at least trying to shock call. I can't say I'm on the other end of the table. I can't yeah. reach him. I said, James, help Kyle. Help Kyle. Hell no. <laughs> Help these nuts. That is funny as hell. <laughs> Those are the headphones on <laughs> Kyle's hand. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach. Okay. 855. 855- Three six nine ninety eight ninety eight. Call in with your craziest sexcapades or your craziest fantasies to go along with our crazy topics tonight. Eight five five three six nine ninety eight ninety eight. Let's go around the table with our craziest sexcapades or craziest fantasies. Yeah, we want to hear. By the way, truckers, we want to hear the stories. Oh, they have the best stories. Trucker Nation, Trucker Nation, roll on through this uh, phone line, please. About your crazy sex stories. Mine went went down. Getting my dong cut off. That's for sure. (laughs) (laughs) Of course, that would not be my man. Some fantasy. Do you remember some of your great trucker stories that you've heard? I think of the dude that uh, that had sex at Walmart. With the with the with the chicks at the Walmart, yeah, yeah. Uh, in a certain aisle, he knew the aisle where he can go get something. At Walmart. Mine was, I think, was uh, Low Life had the chick uh, come on the <laughs> she come on the cat come into his cab of the mm. the truck, the lizard, and he had to make sure lizard. make sure that the, the 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 doors were locked so her boyfriend wouldn't rob them. Hilarious. Because <laughs> sometimes these guys, these girls, have their men uh, pimping them. Sure. Yeah. And so, you well, have how about when Low Life said <laughs> all the Low Life story? How about when Low Life said <laughs> no, that right. old girl <laughs> broke into the house? <laughs> no, old girl tried to rob him, but he she was uh, slobbing on Bob <laughs> and, and left with his money. Yeah. Well, then he get cut with a knife. Cause well, that was his wife. So no, that noise. was his wife. His wife. Low Life's wife found some lipstick on his nuts. <laughs> That's pretty That's good. That's hilarious. On his okay. boxers. Kyle, craziest sex capade or fantasy? I got to think about that. Uh, fantasy? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Like, like, like a, what do you like want? Like where, where you've done it? Where you've done it or what you want to do? I remember one time when I was in high school, 
I, my thing was every room. Mm-hmm. And then oh. one time I was with this chick and uh, we went to <laughs> diving board. I thought that was going to be sexy. Tore her back out with oh that my sand, god on with the that diving board paper. yep oh. I was beating. she was like it hurts i was like yeah because it's big girl oh no so my back it hurts because i'm oh. blowing it out <laughs> no the sandpaper oh my bad oh, jump man. in the pool bitch cool <laughs> off cool off in the pool bitch oh my god did you push it in the pool nah she needed to cool <laughs> up i tore that back up too oh that'd be sweet if you did <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to hit every room in the house i let's go on the diving no, you're board not that big as the, the diving board, board. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, no, it doesn't hurt because of you. <laughs> it's not hurt because of the diving, diving board. board. She was like, get off of me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> she was oh, like, yeah, here's the board. I was get like, yeah, that's one board. word to call it, the board. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call it, the board. Get Ooh. off of me, boy. <laughs> uh, I hate he does that sound. Smashing <laughs> my <laughs> back up. <laughs> It's so gross. I hate that. I ripped her back <laughs> out. Say nothing You're about ripping my back. That's what I do. Oh, gross. <laughs> Stupid. James, what are you thinking about? What are you? What's your fantasy or a sex capade? Uh, I had one girl where in her department store. I hit that there. Wow, in the dressing room? No, it was actually clo- Well, it was closed, and it was kind of uh, on the futon. Where actually you probably could see walking by the oh street. Oh my god! It was a busy place, but it was late at night. It was right. after the door. Cl- after yeah, the store after closed. Yeah, the closed. She worked there. She worked there. Nice. Got in that one, and then same girl, miniature golf course. She nice. was freaky oh, as hell. A miniature golf nice. course. Yeah, I jumped she in, in Colorado. That one. I was just in a phase where I'm like, yeah, hey, let's try it here. Oh, let's try it here. Oh right. my god! Yeah, she and was a whore. These these businesses were all closed. Now was it now was yeah. it a good session or was it just to say you did it? It was this actually place? a pretty good session. Wow. I can't complain. She was a whore. I enjoyed her. A lot. You Stacey, you got any, uh, and I miss her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stacey, you have any stories, sexcapades, or fantasies? I'm, I'm, I've always wondered what would sex be like, like in space. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> like, like over Skype. Because it's weightless. Because it's like you, you don't really have weight in space. So it's like, how could you? Is that your that? weight loss plan, Stacey? <laughs> <laughs> Spacey Stacy <laughs> in space. I think it would be interesting, like to just do an astronaut in how, space. How would that? How can that be done? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> I'm sure it can though. Oh, uh, I bet you they did it though. That would they float around? Would they float around? Once like no, your, it's like like when you're stuck together and you, you float it around. Out there, you'd be in some trouble. Like how dogs are that, stuck together? Would you? Well, I have all kind of. Um, fantasies like if a guy picked me up and we like flew to Monaco and had sex on the beach. That's not a sex capade. <laughs> what is it? I mean like a do. crazy sex capade. Like a uh, crazy I've sex capade. I've done on a beach. Yeah, of course. I've done it on the beach. What yeah. to in pick the, you up ocean. and fly you to Monaco? Oh that's just money hungry shit. <laughs> You can't I, win for losing around I here. <laughs> Let's see what Norman says. Norman from New York. Norman. Hey Norman. Hi, on the jet. Oh hey Norman. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh my um, goodness. Are you? Yes, uh, I guess I'm average. <laughs> you guess you're average? You're average, okay. Well, Norman, you well, have some crazy sex I don't, don't, don't want to. Yeah, you know what? I was at Belmont Racetrack with a load of horse feed that I picked up in uh, South wow. Dakota. And okay. while I was waiting to get unloaded, I was waiting for them to come call me to unload me. The girl I was with, she went to do it on the top bunk in the, in the back of the truck. She wanted you or the horse, dog. <laughs> yeah, I got a little <laughs> nervous when he said something about the horses. <laughs> 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 Belmont. Mm-hmm. So, so you were. Top, you know, I sat on the top bunk in the in, in, in the sleeper of the truck. So Norman, that's no, is that not normal? Not really. Not or was, or was it because you all were waiting for people? Especially when while you know, right before I you know hit my hit my peak, they knocked on the door. Oh wow! Yeah. Did you go ahead and hit the peak? Oh yeah, you know I was I started. I wasn't going to start. I'm just uh, starting. Oh, no, I can't okay. finish. Right. I heard that, Norman. Yeah. So that was a li- that was kind of like living on the edge. I think people say that's exciting oh. to kind of like almost get caught, like James on the full time, right? Uh, in the Pepsi Center. Well, I wouldn't. Thank you, Norm. Well, I wouldn't have got caught because you know I'm in the truck. Nobody. Were you in your me. truck? I, I, but can't they hear you outside the truck? Uh, they probably saw the truck rocking. That might be why they knocked on the door. <gasps> that's when you sexy. hear the truck rocking, don't come a knocking. <laughs> <laughs> when you see the truck rocking, Ricky, now Ricky, I like Ricky. that's sexy. That's sexy to see the truck rocking like that. That's hot. Mm. <laughs> don't write that down there. What's yours, Glenda? Mm, don't don't worry about mine. What's yours, Glenda? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just did mine. Uh, White Jim Kelly, I believe he just did his. Yeah, yeah Glenda, sure we going from left to right. No, she wouldn't. 
Yes, Cheryl would, would not no, do her. Cheryl would get all the way around she here and don't say no, nothing. She, she, she would, would not. Do. But but you're not. The only Cheryl, thing so I did here. was uh, my ex husband and I. Oh, on a yacht. husband story. <laughs> anyway, Jim. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we did it on the horse and uh, horse well, carriage. No marriage thing. stories. Like, come on. That's what was gross. the driver doing? The driver was the driver was in front. Oh, on in the Chicago. Horse in Chicago, the driver was on the horse, and you know they had the carriage, and the carriage is like enclosed. So we were inside the carriage, and I was sitting on his thing. We were doing yeah, it. And we were what were you going, wearing? I had on a little sundress. You know, I love my sundresses. Oh, those are oh, awesome. And did you have drawers on before, or you just took them off? I didn't have them on. I might have slid them to the side. Slid I can't remember. Yeah, I might have slid thinking. them to the side. Was he raw dogging it? He was my husband. Yeah. I was just wondering. Yeah, he was raw dogging it. <laughs> I'm trying to get the hell? visual. I don't give a shit. It's cool. I watched the picture here. But he was nervous. He was nervous. He was like, oh, my God, what are you doing? And, and you just, jumped and on I it. I jumped right on it. Mm, mm, he had just mm. come home from overseas. I'm going to beat that one day, Jim Kelly. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm taking buddy. this right That's here on the, on the horse and carriage. It was cute. <laughs> right, and you couldn't even, you know, the horse sounded like that. Yes. And then the, we sounded like... <laughs> The horse riding through the middle of Chicago <laughs> <laughs> down Michigan <laughs> Avenue. Yeah. What is guy texting I'm me about? Done. Oh, guys, Oops. loving it. Sorry, <laughs> I'm loving it. I have had so much call? fun with you guys. I love you guys this so much. You guys show. have been so nice to me. I said I'm gonna get in there. They're gonna be acting all funny and stuff. Nah, I learned good. my lesson from being mean to Stacy. So. Oh, well, I was talking over her too much, so I said I wouldn't do that to you. I would have been if you didn't wear that shirt. <laughs> Ow! Oh my gosh, this has been a wonderful, wonderful show. It was so much fun. All of you listeners and, and our Twitter fans and callers, you guys have been absolutely great. We have enjoyed you all so, so much. Um, check us out in our different social networks. James, where can we find you? Facebook, James Kelly, K E L L E Y, Los Angeles. And or on Glenda's friend list, like <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kyle, where can we Go to KyleIrby.com, K-Y-L-E-E-R-B-Y.com, Facebook, Twitter. Me, Follow me on Twitter, folks, and uh, I'll be celebrating, my, celebrating, celebrating my birthday in Richmond, Virginia, with Cheryl Underwood at the Richmond Funny Bone. On? Uh, this Friday and Saturday, 20, well, my birthday's on the 21st, but... Uh, Your birthday's Thursday, uh-huh. and you guys will be hanging out on... Um, hanging out Thursday Friday, night, Thursday, Friday, Richmond. Saturday, okay. But performance, the show is on Friday and Saturday night in Richmond. Okay. Four shows. Have a good show, have a good show. Stay yep. succulent Thursday. I will be at Comic-Con tomorrow, the preview nights of Comic-Con for the next four days in San Diego, all my uh, closet geek folks. Please uh, follow my web series. That's what I'll be promoting at Sister Girl, Sister Friend, Sister um, Friend. on Facebook, and uh, you can find the Sister Reel on YouTube, Sister, S-I-S-T-A-A-H, and Friend, like your regular friend. Comic-Con has some really like um, wealthy um, Comic-Con's amazing. people that come visit, right? It's huge. It's Could you thousands schedule that in? Thousands that in, man? <laughs> huh? People. This is Comic Con, and it's completely sold. I'm so excited <laughs> about going. Uh, you guys can reach me on uh, Facebook under Glenda Redfield and Twitter under Glenda Redfield. Um, shout out to all my people in the shy, all my friends. Thank you so much for making a girl feel at home again. I had a wonderful time there. Big ups to my mom, Linda Williams. She lost her kitty cat Nyla over the weekend. Worst in peace, Nyla. Big ups to Cheryl Underwood. We miss you so much, Cheryl, especially me. I haven't seen you in almost three weeks now. Hurry on back and um, make sure Kyle does his duties. Hey, Cheryl. (laughs) Uh, Who who else I got? I need to see my my list. Sometimes I I forget. Uh, Marcus King, Guy Black, Jamie King, Jamie Foxx. Big ups to uh, Boss Man. Um, Who else? In uh, who's in New York? Scott. Uh, Scott and and Morgan and Nakia. Happy birthday, Nakia. And uh, uh, Jacob, the man with the big rod. Or something the man like of that. God. The man, man of God, God with the big, big rod. rod. There you go. Thank you so much for holding us down, everybody. I'm a dude. I should be saying that. <laughs> I know. Until next time, Foxy Woxy. Hey, Ralph Harris. We're out. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>